Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps Live Chat. I'm so glad you're here. Jumping on just a few minutes early. And if you're here, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. And if you're watching the replay, hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate that too. Definitely. Um, I'm just, I got lots of news to talk about today. I'm in a great mood. I'm excited to talk to you all. I'm excited to be here. Thank you guys for coming out. So I'm just finishing setting up here. So bear with me one second. So my plan today, I have a lot of news to go over with you guys. So we'll, we'll talk about that. I want to jump in the comments, read what you all have to say, answer your questions, whatever you guys want to do. Again, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, side note, I always mean that, and I hope you know that when I say that I appreciate each and every one of you, that is the sugar's favorite thing to say to go after lately is how can you say you love all of us? I'm like, because I do. Uh, and I think that's a really funny thing to get mad at, but anyway, okay. Um, here, I'm going to jump into the chat and catch up and then we'll get into some news guys. Hi. How is everybody? We are, let's see, it is Wednesday. Where I'm at, it's a bit, just before five o'clock. I said we'd go at five, so I'm a little early. All right, I'm so glad you guys are here. Let me say hi to some of you, and then we'll get into some news. Um, I'm just gonna jump right in here. Hi, Chrissy. Thanks for being here, Hong Kong. Carol, hi. Thanks for being here, Effie, Elaine. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Susan, Piper, Deborah. Hi, Kristen. Kristen, I think you were the one that said you had stuff going on, so you can't chat. Thanks for being here, and thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Megan Markle Parody, hi. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Love from Boston. I love Boston. I love New England. I wish I was there right now. How are you guys? I really appreciate it. Honk, honk. Hi, Jeffrey. Thanks for being here. Hi, Nina. Hi, Cook Francis. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, Samantha, Belfast, Northern Ireland. I love Belfast. I've been there. Beautiful place. Very pretty. Hi, Christine. Thanks for being here. So again, if you guys are watching in the playback, this is normally what I do. I like to say hi to people in the chat. I like to just kind of interact a little bit. And then I do have a whole list of news items to go over with you guys. And yes, I do have... I'm going to go ahead and tease what's coming up. You guys, we need to discuss in detail the Halloween trick-or-treating photo of it all because I'm calling BS on that and I have lots to say about it. Uh, Catherine in the news today. I want to talk about Catherine. I want to talk about Charles in Kenya. I got lots to say. I got to talk about what's going on with Harold and Fraud. Lots to say. And uh, Jay will be on in just a minute. He, he believe the nerve of that guy having to work. What the heck is his problem? I gotta work. Where are his priorities? Yeah, he'll be on in a minute. I'm just teasing. Um, guys, thanks so much for being here. So Wildcat, hi. Thanks for being here. Linnell says, good morning. Good morning. So glad you're here. Uh, Starbelly, I like that name. That's cool. Hi, Jen. Finally made it to one of your live streams. Love from England. Oh, love to England. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you made it. I'm thrilled. We really have a good time here. So again, if you're just joining, I just like to go over comments and then I like to um, get into some news and just kind of answer questions, whatever you guys want to do. Oh my gosh, Chrissy with our first gift of the chat. Thank you so much. Chrissy Hunsaker gifted five Real Housewives Recaps memberships to people. So the way that works if you're new here is the computer randomly gifts those and it looks like let me see here vastria i hope i'm saying that right chris dana christine Kristen, and shell were all gifted members by chrissy chrissy that is awesome i really truly appreciate that that's very nice so when people do that that not only is a kind thing to do for other people it also does help the channel so thank you chrissy i really appreciate that uh somebody finally got his priorities in order uh, would you like to say hello to our, the best bunch of flockers, the Drunk Goose Club? Hello. I'm still on the clock, but I'm right here. <laughs> can you honk at everybody? Honk, honk. Show, okay. Can you show me those honkers? Oh, nice. So Jay's going to be working a little bit. So I'm here. Oh, hang on. My wires are tangled. Hang on, everybody. Sorry, my microphone is stuck. 
Okay, I'm stuck. Hold on, sorry. Okay, sorry. My microphone got caught, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't make it work, but I'm here. All right. My chair is squeaky, but I'm here. Okay. Hey, Dean from Ireland, another Northern Ireland. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, Chrissy, you're so sweet. It says, love the Drunk Goose Club. Well, we love you, Chrissy. I really appreciate that. Samantha says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. You're so right. All people are saying, yay. Hi, Jay. Jay says, hi. He is finishing up his work, so he will be in and out of chat, but he is here. Okay, he brought another computer and is loading up chat so that way um, he can kind of jump in as he can. But, uh, oh, thank you so much, Tanya, with our first super of the chat. Tanya Frazier, one of our Australian geese. Good day and honk honk, friend. Thanks so much for that. We really appreciate that. Janet says hello from Brittany, France. Well, hello, Janet. I want to be in France. I'm holding on with my fingertips. It's so windy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Janet, stay safe. Stay out of that wind. Oh. Um, oh, okay. So let's talk the photos. You guys are reacting to the photos in the background. Thank you. Um, yeah, so those are built with AI. Um, a little inside baseball for you. Uh the uh Mark the Harkle. I don't want to go too too deep into the negative. Just know that um the Harkles aren't liking their photos so much. Uh they're coming after YouTubers. Over, I don't want to go deep or I really don't want to talk about this too much because I don't want to even give the Harkles any airtime in terms of this stuff. But uh, they're coming after YouTubers, so you'll notice a lot of YouTubers have used AI because that's not their photos, is it? So here we go. If you don't want us to use your photos, we'll use these kind of photos. Here's your AI for you. Enjoy. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, right? <laughs> but yeah, so AI, everybody's laughing at the hands. AI always gets the hands wrong, so that's why it's kind of fun to watch the hands. Um, but the other funny thing I love to point out is that AI picks up on nuances, mannerisms from other photos. So a lot of times you'll see things like her gazing at Harry and, uh, I don't know, hunched forward. Stuff we actually see in her photos, AI picks up on. And it plays it up, which is pretty funny. So definitely look for that. All right. We got Heidi saying good day from, let's see, Queensland. Um, good day, Heidi. Sorry, I was getting a phone call at the same time. I was trying to mute it. But good day. Thanks for being here. Lots of Australian geese here. I know it's got to be, what, very early in the morning for you? Very late at night? I'm not sure. I know you're way ahead of us. So <laughs> thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. All right. How is everybody today? Uh, I'll take a few more minutes and just chat and say hi. And then I really do have a bunch of news stories to get into. Lots to talk to you all about. Tell me what's going on with you guys. How are things? Let's see. Um, yeah, Elaine, I'm hearing the same thing. YouTube coming after people pretty hard. I know. There's so much I want to say, you guys. So much. I'm no okay. How do I blink and code at you all? Sugars listen to this too, so I'm not going to tip my hand on what's going on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, yeah, they're up to some shit. How about that? <laughs> that's I'm. That's all I'm going to say about it because sugars listen too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to help them out at all. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's talk about from some fun stuff. Lynn, thank you. Lynn has a great comment. Says, I love Catherine having a sing-along with children today. Lynn, I appreciate you bringing that up because, wait for it, wait for it, watch your screens. I am. It should pop up. Okay. I actually pulled this story because I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to start off with some sunshine, shall we? So yeah, we got Catherine, Princess of Wales. Got new photos today and I have one here. It's not on your screen yet. It'll be there in a second. Catherine went to visit a parenting group for fathers today in London. So we got some fabulous pictures of her with some very cute kids and some dads. And I love all the smiling faces. I love her smiling face. I love the babies. 
of the dads, all of them. It's great. So really cool to see. Um, I love, I love the causes she gets involved in. I love that she's, you know, obviously very focused on children. I think that's wonderful. She's great. So, um, yeah, I'm just reading some of your comments. Sorry, as I talk about this, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to start off with some sunshine here with Catherine. Catherine looks so happy around children. Kristen, I agree. I agree with you. <clears throat> oh, that's another thing. So I see message retracted. Okay. So if you're new here, that is another fun thing we deal with. The, in the chat, if you type anything, if you even type, the, I don't know, it's, uh, I hate the hot weather, something like that. Sometimes the chat overreacts and thinks you're saying, I hate your channel, and it will retract your comment. That's not us. That's the chat. So just know we're not trying to censor anybody like Harold and Fraud. I want to hear everything you have to say, good or bad. So <laughs> it is annoying. I hate it. Misspell stuff if you have to. So that way you can tell me what you're trying to tell me. Uh, Megan Markle parody. Queen of memes 80s. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. We're glad you're here. Is this your first chat? I'm glad to have you here. Tilly says we need to develop a drunk goose club sequel language. I'm telling you what. If I could. Yeah. I love it. Sorry. I got to read the rest of your message. Sugars can't spell. So there's no way they can figure it out. Ding, ding, ding. You're exactly right. It makes me laugh. Um. I'm really not overly worried about it, uh, and I don't I don't like to go to the negative place with that stuff, but I wish I could blink you some Morse code and tell you some stuff. Yeah, that's all I'll say. <laughs> I wish we could all get together and just, like, meet at a pub, and I'll really have a conversation. I'll answer every question you got and tell you all the juice. It's just freaking YouTube, man. <sighs> all I'll say is Harold and Fraud <laughs> really like to censor people. I'm seeing it more and more, so there's that. All right, I'm not gonna let it get me down though. That's what the sugars want, so let's stay positive. All right, so yeah, Catherine, Princess of Wales, love this photo. One of many we got of her today. This is the only one I pulled, but I love it. It's so cute. Look how happy she is, I think. Yeah, uh, is it Luz says Catherine is so real. So, totally agree with you. I love, I say it all the time, I'd love to go have tea with her. Love to really ask her what all went down with <laughs> with that one, that one's wife, that sort of thing. I think it'd be fun. Um. Oh yeah, that's funny. They can't spell. That's for sure. I know, right, Donna? Uh, is it? I never say right. Is it? Lydu says that'd be a big pub. Yeah, here's hoping. That's my goal. Oh, I dream about that. I've actually started looking into it. What if we went to a pub in Scotland? Is that doable? Because my dream is to go see Balmoral. I would love to. I'd love to see it. Um, and so I think it'd be cool. I think Balmoral's pretty rural from what I hear, but we could meet up in Edinburgh, something like that. So, anyway, I keep thinking about it. I'd like to do it. Snowflake says she looks so healthy. She really does. She just has that glow, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, oh, there you go, Samantha. I love this comment so much. No amount of money, gems, or coffers lined with gold could buy, sorry, could buy Catherine's respect and love of the people. You're so right. It's just earned, right? Beautiful. Um, so happy. I love to see her interacting with children. One of my favorite. It's like my favorite interactions. Hi, Glennis, Hong Kong friend. She says, Hong Kong, all you geese and goosey ganders. Glennis, I thought about you um, when I made the Amber Heard, Jada Pinkett Smith, Megan video. Tell me you saw it. I'm sure, I, I'm so sorry. I get confused on who comments on what, so I can't remember if you commented on that one or a different one. I know you've been commenting, but I thought you'd get a kick out of that. I thought about you when I made that video. See, you guys get in my head. I start thinking about each of you in different scenarios when I get to know your personalities. I just know Glennis loves Johnny Depp, so she popped in my head when I made that video. So <laughs> I love getting to know you guys. You, that's what I mean. You really mean the world to me, and I love learning about each of you and about your personalities. Hi, Cook Song Girl. P. Dina has done a meetup, I think. Oh, I'd love to talk to her about that. She seems like really a sweet girl. I was actually supposed to be on a chat with her at one point. Um, through, I think it was Paula M channel or one of those. And, um, it didn't end up working out time-wise, but I would love to meet her. Love to get to know her. She seems like a sweet lady. 
All right. When, let's see, Jackie, hi, Jackie, saying, when did we ever see a genuine smile like that on Megan's face? Such a good question. I know, right? I know. And just interacting with children, there's a difference between posing with or taking a picture with a child, but to just sit down and interact with children, yeah, I don't, we saw that a whole heck of a lot. All right. Uh, Nicola says, blimey, you can censor a site filled with conjecture, but they can't banish a... Oh, yeah, I can't read that. But I know, right? Where's her whole question is, um, where's the so-called social media's moral compass? It's I think it's sold to the highest bidder. And that's not me. So, <laughs> hi, Irish Channel girl. I love your name. Borrowing lip gloss isn't an American thing. Not since the 80s. <laughs> Such a good point. I actually, it's so funny you're bringing this up. I was just reading, I don't remember what it was. I was, I've been working on videos. I did it on Patreon too about how Megan is really going out of her way behind the scenes, in my opinion, to try to take down Catherine and try to hurt Catherine. And uh, that story came back up and, and how Megan acted like Catherine was the one out of line for not wanting to loan her or give her her whatever it was, chapstick, lip gloss, whatever it was. Ridiculous, right? I just, I wouldn't do it. I would share it with my kid. Maybe Jay, he's sitting right here staring at me. <laughs> Maybe Jay, other than that, I'm out. I'm not, it's not me. I don't like to drink after other people. I don't like to, no, that's not a thing. It's rude. And I wouldn't even ask because I wouldn't want to put anybody in that position. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness. All right. Um, yeah. So while we're talking, Catherine, shall we continue on? I know what we're all here. So much to talk about. I want to talk about the Halloween pictures. Of course, we will get to that. Um, but first, since we're looking at Catherine anyway, can I just say, did anybody else love the um, speech that King Charles, I almost called him Prince Charles, King, former Prince Charles, uh, King Charles gave where he said, I had to write it down because I love it so much. My son, the Prince of Wales, proposed to his wife, my now beloved daughter-in-law. Talking about, of course, he's in Kenya. That's where Prince and Princess of Wales got engaged. And I love that moment so much. That speech was great. I love that. I don't know how to explain it. It's like that kind of underlined things, I think, or exclamation pointed things if they weren't already, right? That he he spoke about them singularly, like my son and my daughter-in-law, and didn't talk about the other ones. That's got to hurt. It's on a world stage forum, if you will. This was an important speech, an important event going to Kenya. And um, yeah, he that was what he chose to say. And I think that says a lot. Yeah, I think there was a lot to that. I do. I think it, it wasn't just a throwaway line. It, it actually, he meant it. And also it underlined some things. So I think it was great. Go Charles. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay, so A. Ballard saying the same thing. Love that he praised her. Me too. Hi, KT. Hong Kong friend. KT, I'm sending you hugs. I don't know if you heard earlier, I was talking about how I get to know you guys and certain of you pop in my head or different events. And KT, you've been in my head a lot lately. Um, I know that sounds weird, but KT and I share a love of friends. KT's my lobster. Um, and so when uh, Matthew Perry passed, I got very sad and I'm still very sad about it. And KT, I thought about you. I hope you're doing okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Kat says, uh, you need to stream on some other platforms. Kat. I have thought about this. If you guys can come up with a solution, I'll do it. I don't know what that platform is. I don't. I thought about Twitch. I don't know enough about it. And honestly, with all due love and respect, and I'm, in, I'm pointing a finger at myself in this. I'm a 40-something-year-old lady. We have a lot of 40, 50, 60, 70, you know, whatever. <laughs> You're old, everybody in, in the chat and um, or in the group and... I don't know if everybody knows how to use Twitch. I don't know that I know how to use Twitch. So that's my hesitation there. But if I'm willing to learn if it will help, I don't, I don't know. I got to give this some thought and come up with a plan because things are dicey to say the least. All right. <clears throat> I'm scrolling down to catch up with the comments. Apologies. Let's see. Aw. Hey, T, that's so sweet. Thank you. 
Elaine says, I saw the new song. What's the new song? What am I missing? What did I miss? What's the new song? Tell me. Um, let's see. Oh, Christine, God Save the King. I love that. That's so good. Uh, I love that, Samantha's Megan who? I know, right? Oh, I, I'm going to get into her because they are up to some stuff. I'm excited to talk about it with you all. Hi, David. I'm so glad you're here. I know you're at work. I saw your message earlier, man. I hope you're well. I haven't talked to you in a while. I've been so um, Twitter avoidant because that thing is crawling with sugar. So I haven't really been on there. So I haven't said hi. I hope you're well. Sorry, you have to work tonight. I know I I need to get back into doing these more. I had a stupid, whatever that was, cold allergy sinus thing, what, like last week. So um, I, I haven't been on chat in a little while, but I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to be talking to you all. So glad you're here. Okay. Oh, the Beatles new song. I don't know about that. Tell me. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Is that right? <laughs> Is it an AI thing? What am I missing? All right. Oh, Rachel says hi from England and Wales border, Hong Kong. Rachel, I'm dying to go there. I'm dying to see Wales. That's very high on my list of places to see. Um. Oh, Glennis, it's changed since I used it last, but it's easy enough to post and chat on, Jen. Thank you. I will look into that and see if that's worth looking at. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Piper says I'm done when it comes to technology. Piper, me too. Uh, I have my technology guy sitting here next to me. It's Jay. <laughs> but uh, okay, let's get back into the news, shall we? All right. What do we want to talk about next? I got lots to talk about. All right. Do you want to get into trick or treat of it all? Let's get into trick or treat of it all because I got lots to say. All right, let me close down the Catherine picture as much as I love her and want to keep looking at her. I'm going to close that, and we are going to take a look at the trick-or-treat Halloween. And we're going to have a conversation because you can probably... I do this thing with my voice, I notice, and now you all are going to notice it too. When I roll my eyes or when I get frustrated with something because I'm about to get frustrated with this trick-or-treat thing, I notice I start doing... with my voice. Sometimes I cut it out of my videos because I'm afraid it's annoying and it might be annoying. Apologies, but I do. You can hear, you can hear my voice when I'm frustrated because I go, Ugh. So I just noticed I was like, let's get into the trick or treat. <laughs> I'm not clearing my throat. I'm rolling my eyes vocally. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. Rolling my eyes vocally. All right, guys, talk about this. All right. Uh, Kristen, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I know you're listening in. Thank you. Okay. Kristen's got to go to work. Let's talk shit about Kristen for a No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen, for being here and supporting. All right. Um, all right. Let's look at, oh my God. I'm sorry. I just looked at the screen. Look at this picture. It's going to pop up for you guys in just a second, or it may already be there. I never know how this works. How many arms do you see? <laughs> so many arms. <laughs> Got a little baby hand coming out like the the uh, the guy from Total Recall, with a little little monster man in his belly. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm gonna go with it and say, yeah, that. All right. Oh, John, thank you so much for the super honk honk, Lady Goose, and 124,000 drunk geese. Yeah, I can't believe I passed 124,000 subs. John, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super, and always, you're so kind. Uh, K Coffee says, I've been retired for nine years. Sorry, your message cut off. And return to work part-time. Oh my gosh, it's taking me so long to relearn Windows. I feel your pain. I do. All right, let's talk. Your own fraud. I put it off long enough. Let's talk Halloween. All right, get ready. You should see on your screen in just a second here. Here we go. All right, you guys. I am rolling my eyes so hard. I have eye strain. I have vocal eye roll going on. Lots to talk about. All right. Here we go. So let me back up and say, if you haven't looked at the news today, stuff's weird. Uh, I always like to look at Daily Mail, even though I get frustrated with them because they have been pro Harkle sometimes, but then sometimes they're like, yeah, those two suck. And I'm like, okay, I'm back on board. Um, oh, thank you, KT, for the super. Miss you, Lobster. Chandler news is devastating. Oh, KT, I know. I'm sending you a hug. Thank you for the super, though. I really appreciate that. But I know I feel the same way. 
I know. It makes me want to go back and watch Friends. I haven't watched Friends in a long time. I might do a rewatch of Friends. All right. Uh, back to this Halloween nonsense. Here we go. So if you check the news at all today, it's all over and it's real weird. Like Daily Meal, <laughs> Daily Meal, Daily Mail is real weird. Daily Meal is weird uh, because it says something like, I don't know, like the Sussexes. I don't even use their title. Okay. Harold and Fraud take the kids trick or treating, but then didn't have any pictures up. And then I started looking around and I thought that was weird. And then I started looking around at other websites, same, no pictures up of the trick-or-treating. And plus, why is this a story? We took our kid to a Halloween party and trick-or-treating. Where's our news story? <laughs> Who wants, you know, like who's, who's waiting to interview us about taking our kid, kid trick-or-treating? It's, uh, it actually reminds me of, um, I love Chris Rock. I love his comedy. He did a stand-up routine years ago where he said, Something like, it's like people who brag about paying child support. That's what you're supposed to do. Do you want a cookie? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be a parent. You're supposed to have normal moments with your children. Like, I don't know, taking them trick or treating. Why do you need a cookie for this? Ugh, so irritating. Here goes, here goes my eye roll vocally. <laughs> but uh, so the, again, they want credit for something they're supposed to do. This news story is everywhere. They, they take their kids trick or treating. Okay, but let's really talk about this, shall we? So after all these news stories come out, hey, Jenny, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. After this story comes out and it's everywhere, which is ridiculous, and there's no pictures, which is very weird, all of a sudden we get this picture, which you should see up on your screen. This very blurry picture, by the way. Okay. Why is this news, first of all? Why... Are there never any clear pics with the kids? We got that one of Harry carrying the little girl, but then there was doubt afterwards as to if that was real or not. I'm going to say allegedly by all this because, you know, we have to. Allegedly, I don't... This is my opinion on all of this. How about that? My opinion is this is bullshit. This picture is bullshit, and I'll tell you why. Um, okay, so much to talk about. I'm, like, <laughs> all over the place. Let's stay on track here. All right, so blurry pics with kids. That's their thing to do. I believe this is Megan trying to get people talking. Well, why is this news now? Why is this coming out? Is this supposed to overshadow King Charles in Africa? Is this what's going on? The other thing that I want to point out is if you watch my video today, I talk about I have from a source and it's again, it's alleged. You got to take it with a grain of salt that allegedly Harry went to Africa. Now, He's probably back. He probably made it back in time that he could have gone trick-or-treating. I don't know the I don't know the ins and outs. I don't even know for sure that he did go to Africa. But I had heard from pretty good source that he did go and then was turned away by Prince Charles. Sorry, I keep doing that. King Charles. You know what it is? It's not disrespect toward Charles. It's because Queen Elizabeth will always be my queen. And so I always think of her as, you know, the queen. And the monarchy. And then uh, I think of him as Prince Charles. That's why. It's no disrespect to anybody. Anyway, let me try that again. King Charles turned him away. So he flew back home. So maybe he made it back in time. I don't know. I'm calling bullshit on this. I'm calling that this was either last year or a different event. The other thing I'm calling, and I see my comments are going crazy. I will read your comments, I promise. But here's my thing. I don't think it's them. I don't. I really don't. Where is their security? We don't see security anywhere around. Um, again, no clear pics. Now, let me show you this. I'm going to pop something up on screen. Go. Ready for just a second. Okay, I should take just a second. And I'm going to pull away from the mic and cough so I don't cough in your ear. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a sip of my drink and we're going to keep going with this. And hopefully this will be up on your screen to see. Okay. So this was shared online. And if I had the username, I would shout it out. I do not, unfortunately. But um, this was shared of, I don't know, a lovely family trick-or-treating here. We look at the little cute tiger. So cute. Uh, and then they just got this random family in the background. So the speculation is, is that somebody saw that family, thought, hey, that looked like Harry and Megan and the kids. 
and they cropped it or zoomed in, and that's why it's so blurry. And they use that to try to say, look, they're together. Here they are doing a normal family thing. But then um, I just, I don't. Go ahead. I see Chrissy in the chat saying that's her her photo. <laughs> oh my God, that's yours, Chrissy. Okay, you're amazing. Chrissy, let's all let's all give Chrissy Hunsaker. Chrissy, where do you want us to follow you? Are you on Twitter? I'm not trying to use your stuff with that. That's why I was saying if I had this user's information, I'd shout it out. Now I can. Chrissy, that's you. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, Chrissy, then you can fill us in. I wish I could get you on mic. That you could fill us in then, because I, I actually got this image off of St. Megan Markle Reddit. Um, so maybe you can explain it more clearly than me, but I, the way I'm understanding it then is that somebody zoomed in, cropped this image and said, oh, there they are. And that's not them. Um, that's you. That's your post, Chrissy. Oh my God. That's too funny. Oh, Chrissy, you're amazing. Uh, Chrissy, I want to give you like, how, how can we help you? Can we follow you on, on Twitter? Would that help? What can we do? I'm not really on Instagram, but, um, oh, there you go. Okay. She's at Chrissy Hunsaker, C-H-R-I-S-S-E-Y-H-U-N-S-A-K-R on Twitter. Let's all give her the follow. Chrissy, I'll follow you as soon as I, um, as soon as I in the chat, I promise I'll be there. Okay. So Chrissy, thank you for this image. You're, you're brilliant. This is great. I, I love that it's yours. I didn't even connect the, I didn't even freaking look at the icon. That's too funny that that's you. Okay. Here I am shouting you out. That's amazing. Anyway. So the speculation is, is that somebody cropped in, picked out this fan was like, Oh, there they are. And maybe it is them. I don't know. I just find that so weird and that it's um so blurry. So I'm going to go back to the original. See? And then it makes this picture make a little more sense. You should be able to see in just a second. Where it's blurry and kind of cropped weird. And yeah, there you go. So I just, I don't think it's them. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm speculating. Allegedly, allegedly, right? All right. But yeah, I find this thing so weird. So this is where I want you guys to chime in. So is this the wife doing this to get people talking? Is she trying to say, is it kind of like snapping back at people? Because people have been calling out their <laughs> lack of parenting, their absentee parenting style. I don't know what you call it. Um, there's been lots of talk about that lately with all the vacations. It must be tough taking all those vacations from what? I have no idea. Uh, so. I feel like that's her maybe trying to clap back by releasing a photo like this. I'm not, I, I don't know. Um, and then it, but then somebody else speculated it's to get people talking. So then she could come out and say, nope, it's fake to keep people talking. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so silly, right? It's silly. Uh, oh my gosh, Starbelly is saying the exact same thing Jay said. That is too funny. Let me read Starbelly's comment and I'll let Jay talk. There's no way Megan wouldn't do a look at me, look at me moment. I'm sure she loves getting recognized in public. Jay said the exact same thing. Yeah, much like how Spider-Man has his spider sense to sense danger, she has her um, camera sense <laughs> that yeah. senses cameras. And immediately, she, she could be... Uh, Hundreds of yards away, since it flip around and like mm -hmm. <laughs> picture. Exactly, she would show herself off. She would show her jewelry off. She'd cling on to Prince Dumbass, whatever. Like she'd do something. Um, but I don't think. Yeah, other people are saying in the comments. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to judge anybody's anything on as far as you know body stuff. I just think this woman is built a little different than Megan. How about that? Maybe it's the jeans. Maybe it's, I don't know. It's also not wearing a, a parka or, yeah. or anything totally opposite of the weather. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. She's not wearing a parka or stickers all over. So I don't recognize her. Um, but yeah, that's, that's okay. So everybody's saying in the comments, it's not them. I don't think so either. That woman has a bum. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think that's them either so and when's the last time thank you Cal. that's such a good point Cal lizzie says when's the last time we saw megan wear sneakers exactly that's a very mom thing to do right like you know you're gonna be chasing your kids around you're gonna go for 
whatever gets to the kids the fastest, right? So sneakers it is. And, and I just don't, in my opinion, she wouldn't think like that necessarily. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Glennis is saying, and the child being carry her leg looks really awkward sticking out like that. Yeah, it does. And I, I just think there's several things that are very odd about this picture. Again, let's give, uh, Let's give Chrissy a recognition for sharing this. Oh my gosh, that's too funny and too cool that you're actually here. It's your photo I was sharing. Oh, KT said she'd be wearing a bikini. There you go. That's right. Showing off, uh, I don't know, from their, their vacation. They're on vacation, I'm sure. <laughs> Prince Harry went to Africa, so Megan's partying it up, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I just don't believe it. And, and, and even if it is them, I don't believe it's from Halloween. It could have been a party, a different day. Like our kid had a party a couple of days ago. And then, of course, we took her trick-or-treating last night. So I just, I did, none of it makes any sense. It really doesn't. Thank you, Marty, for the super. Marty says, Marty Brown says, if, it, if that is Megan supposedly carrying Lily, she should be cited for, um... Yeah, I can't read that, but I know what you mean. I don't think that that's d the delusional duo. I don't think so either. I totally agree with you. Thank you for that, Marty. Okay. Um. Oh, and then I'm going to take this picture off the screen and that picture, and then I'm going to show you something else really funny. Hold on. All right. Give me one second. And again, I got this picture to show you. Speaking of Halloween, you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Harry's mummy costume for Halloween. <laughs> I thought that was so good. Oh, yes. Now, my knocker, my honkers are oscillating. My honkers are oscillating. Gosh. This is sick and twisted and hilarious, and it's my kind of humor, so I dig it. That's really funny and really creepy all at the same time. Okay. Um, oh, people are laughing. Yeah. What's funny is when I, um, when I say something silly or post something silly, all of a sudden I see all these reactions start flying by. I can tell that you guys are enjoying it. So, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Ginger Roo says the parents probably dressed up as them to take the kids out. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, that's, yeah. And then CK says artificial doesn't seem to be growing. Yeah, it's very weird. Nightmare fuel. I know this picture. Yeah, it's really well done. I found this again on St. Meghan Markle. It made me laugh. Um, oh, Aideen says nightmare fodder. My apologies, Aideen. Ah, it's too funny. I saw somebody made the uh, Norman Bates uh, comparison. I didn't really think about that angle. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not dressed as his mom yet, but uh, he's, yeah, we're not, we're not far from there. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, yeah. Everybody's saying totally normal. Normal. Norman Bates. There you go. Nightmare fools. Okay. All right. I'll take it back off the screen so we don't have to suffer through that anymore. Oh, my goodness. All right. So should we keep going with the news? I feel like that's been a weird thing going on today. Let's talk about Harry. So, again, allegedly, I did get a tip from a pretty good source that he flew to um, Kenya to see King Charles and was turned away. Now, something funny to think about is think about, uh, I always use his title wrong. Is it, It's no longer major. I'm talking about Johnny. Um, hold on. Let me get his official title so I say it right. Hold on. Um... Let's see here. Sorry, hold on. It is. Oh, see, they're still calling him Major Johnny Thompson. So I think that's it. But his new title is Equery. So he is Equery. Hold on, let me pull back up the chat so I see what he's saying. Okay, so he'd have to go through Major Johnny to get to. Yeah, I think it's Colonel too. I don't know. What You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that guy. They have to go through him to get to... Sorry, Harry would have to right go through him to get on or to get an audience with the king. I would think. I know it's his dad, but you know what I'm saying. Like, if if Major Johnny is his right hand man now, you'd think he'd have to set that up with him. So 
By the way, Jay, cover your ears and sing to yourself. What do I have to do to go through Major Johnny? What? Who said that? <laughs> Jay says he's unplugging the internet. I'm sorry. He's very good looking. Uh, <laughs> well, one of you sing. I know he's married, but one of you single girls go out with him and let me know how it is, please. Need details? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Hunk. There you go, Barbara. Ding, ding, ding. That's him. Anyway, so let's let's play a little game here. All right. I don't know if he flew to Africa. I don't, you know, this could be totally made up. I, I don't, I don't, there's no way to prove it. But let's just pretend like it's true. What did he go to Africa for? Was he that butthurt over King Charles talking about his son, the Prince of Wales and beloved daughter-in-law, Princess of Wales? Do you think it was that? Do you think it was, Daddy, I need money. What am I doing? Jay, you do it. Daddy, King Pa yeah. of the Burger Kingdom. <laughs> I need money, more money for uh, Megan's clothing, and I guess food. Oh yeah, we get, uh, and th those kids too. They need stuff. You know, but remember, he told uh, he told his dad that she can what make her own clothes. <laughs> she doesn't eat much. Oh God, I'm cracking up at the comments. I see you all. You all are my people. I found my people because it's apparently there's a long line forming of people that want to get frisked by Major Johnny. <laughs> Let me enunciate that because I sound like I just said fist. I said frisked. Frisked. <laughs> it's hard to, with my southern accent, it's hard to say frisked. Frisked by Major Johnny. Uh <laughs> let's see my cat's name is karen angela asked major johnny how he felt to be an internet hottie i love that so much i actually just played that clip in a video it makes me so happy that she asked him that and that he was very humble about it and he just kind of blushed it sounds like that's so fun but um okay so cal lizzie's guess is that he needs help with the separation and divorce planning that thought occurred to me too I wondered that, although he's such an asshole, I, <laughs> I, I, to quote Harry, I oscillate. I thought about that, but then I think, no, he did that stupid book where he bashed his family, although he is so delusional that he would think, I can bash my family, and then a few months later, Paul, I need help. <laughs> the sea witch is trying to get me. Like, that would be something that he would do, right? Uh, CK, yes, Major Johnny is married. And so am I, so I can still live in pretend land. <laughs> Major Johnny Thompson, yes, that's it. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I have to read this comment, Jay. Listen to this. Samantha says, I'm so lonely. I'm thinking of going to the local airport just to get frisked. <laughs> They'll do it. <laughs> they, lo they love to frisk me every time we go through <laughs> Jay must have a suspicious look because every time we go to the airport, it's the random one picked is always Jay. So yeah, that's kind of an ongoing joke for us. And we're usually, I mean, he's, he doesn't, um, usually Lexi and I tag along with him. We're there too. So we're, we get through, but Jay always gets frisked. He must have a cute butt or something. I, I think I've literally been bomb swabbed the last uh, two, two flights. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Too funny. Um, let's see here. Oh, thank you so much, Bumble Cooper. I really appreciate that super. I really, I really appreciate that. It really helps out the channel. It means so much to me. Thank you. All right. So, um, yeah. So what do we think? Um, oh, Glennis says window shopping is fine, Jen. That's right. As long as you don't buy Johnny. No, I'm hoping somebody single in the chat will. Let me know how that goes. Glennis, you got a report back about Johnny Depp. I'm still waiting on your full report there. Just saying. Um, but what do we think? I, I, again, we got to take it with a grain of salt. We don't know. But if this intel is correct and uh, Harry did go to Africa, what do you think the reason was for? That's what I keep thinking about. And for some reason, I tend to think it's true. Well, for two reasons, I think it's true that he went to Africa. One these weird, suspicious pictures that I don't believe is them. She would be more inclined to do that if Harry really wasn't there with her, right? That seems like something she would do, some mind game she would do. 
what was my other train of thought? Oh, and that would be so like him, the quote unquote eco warrior himself to jump on an airplane, right? Probably, I mean, again, I'm totally speculating. I don't know. Private, commercial, whatever it is. He flew over there, there and back, right? And totally worried about the environment. Isn't he the one that said every decision matters? Well, clearly not to you, a-hole. Clearly not to you. Uh, people are speculating it is money. So, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Hold on one second. Okay. There we go. Um, divorce. Oh, here we go. Candace says divorce horse is in town. <laughs> maybe so. Jay, can you do your divorce noise? <laughs> All right. Corey Max says it's Lieutenant Colonel Johnny. Ah, oh, apologies. All right. Lynn says, I wouldn't mind being the. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That's too funny. Lynn says, I wouldn't mind being the filling of a major Johnny Johnny Depp sandwich. Oh, yeah. <sighs> there's a t there's a um TikToker. I wish I had her name in front of me. I'll get it. It really makes me laugh. And she she just does these videos where she plays um a Mariah Carey song in the background and she she and she calls it like men I go feral for. And she just shows pictures of these hot guys. <laughs> and I don't know why it just cracks me up. So yeah, I would I would maybe add them to my list too. Ah, <sighs> that's funny. Um Okay, so, oh, there you go. Somebody is speculating that he went all the way to Africa to try to get an apology for his wife. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Mr. Ed. Yeah, Pinocchio is looking harsh. Yeah. All right, so there's that. What else do I want to talk about? All right, let's go through some of these talking points. I have a whole list here. Um, oh, so just be aware of the date. Next Tuesday, the 7th, is Earthshot. It's Earthshot Prize in Singapore. So we will see a very, speaking of handsome, we'll see a very handsome Prince William in uh, Singapore. Now, again, I said it before, I respect the hell out of Catherine, Princess of Wales. And I love that she's staying back because she's putting her kids first. She's helping uh, Prince George with his exams. I love that. I, I totally makes sense to me. I'm not questioning that at all. Honest Jen here is disappointed. I want to see what she would have worn. I love seeing her when she has the occasion to dress up and remember last year, we got that beautiful green dress that I love so much. And I would love to see what she'd wear this year. So I do, um, I do hate that, but I totally respect and understand why she's staying behind. Una Pecora, thanks so much. That's so kind of you. Una Pecora always gifts people during the live stream. And she just very generously gifted 10 people with real housewives memberships. Uh, I would say that one. Real Housewives Recaps memberships. Thank you, Una Pecora, for that. So it looks like um, Aideen was gifted one. My cat's name is Karen, Brandy, um, Barbara, Heather, Elsie, Stacy, She Bins Not Breaks, Mr. K, Awesome Cat, all gifted by Una Pecora. Thank you so much for that. That's so kind of you. Very generous. And again, it goes to help the channel. So thank you, Una Pecora. I want you to know how much that means to us every time you do that. I really do. All right. Oh, people are thinking. Una Pecora, that's very nice. Uh, Samantha's saying Harry burnt his bridges. I totally agree with you. I do. But, um, oh, yes, Elaine, thank you. Catherine will dress up at the Christmas concert. Elaine, can I just tell you, last year's Christmas concert, that, that picture, wow, chef's kiss, that color she wore, that deep berry, I don't even know what the hell you call that color, but it's so beautiful. I, I dream about that. That she wears those coat dresses that I love. That's my favorite. I mean, I love everything she wears, but when she wears those coat dresses and oh, feels divine. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll see Prince William next week. So I suspect now. Remember, Samantha's case is next week with Megan. So I suspect they will do anything they can or try to release some news to try to upstage Earthshot. That seems to be their favorite thing to do. And so we'll see some nonsense coming out of Montecito. I feel like they've been weirdly quiet lately. I know we're supposed to believe those Halloween pictures are theirs. I don't believe it. So I don't think that counts. But they've been weirdly quiet. If you think about it, we hadn't had pictures since, um, what, vacation number 2065, whatever. <laughs> so 
I expect we'll get something out of those two. But um, yeah, I'm dying to know about the court, how that's going to go. Obviously, I'm team Samantha. I'm pulling for her. Um, hang on one second. I'm so sorry. Let me just grab something real quick. Hold on. Here, you talk real quick while I look something up. Thanks. Don't say weird stuff. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm here, too. I'm kind of working, so that's why I'm, like, you know, in and out. Because everybody's eating. How's it going, dudes? I'm trying to think. It was weird how, how whoever it was in the photo was carrying that kid. So when people pointed it out, I looked. It was almost like the kid was levitating beside the person. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. Um, I'm here. I I was Googling because I could not remember for the life of me and I found it. It's November. Uh, yeah. November 8th is the Markle versus Markle of it all. Um, it's the, uh, the, I don't, it's not a trial, whatever the, the hearing for, um, Samantha. And so fingers crossed. I hope it goes well. That is in, um, Tampa, I believe. And, uh, I'm pulling for, I tried like hell to play some inside baseball. I'm still trying like hell to get down there. I would love to be there. As, as you guys know, I'm in Jacksonville. It's still a couple hours away, but I could do it. I just. The timing is so bad. I have family coming in town, so I cannot seem to make this work. I'm trying. I wish I could be there because I think that'd be fun and funny. And I know other YouTubers are going to be there. So I'm trying. I, I, I hear you. I've had a lot of people ask me, are you going to go? I'm going to, I'm, I'm still working on it. I just don't, I'd rather surprise you guys with it than, than tell you I'm going and then not be able to go. But, um, but we'll figure it out. If nothing else, I, I've already talked to some people who are planning to go, and then I'll try to talk to them afterwards and get the inside scoop for you all. Um, so my cat's name is Karen is saying it's only the lawyers. So I've heard, so I heard, I d heard differently. I didn't know that. I heard that people are actually allowed in. You just can't um, live stream it or anything. Oh. My cat's name is Karen. You're in Pensacola. Okay. So I don't know how I. I don't know. Uh, let me find out what I can say and not say. But <laughs> I have somebody that's been filling me in on the info if I can go. And, and they're telling me that I can get in. I just, I don't want to tip my hat until I know if that makes sense. That's why I'm being weird. Um, but uh, but I'll try to find out more. My name is Karen. <laughs> my name, my cat's name is Karen. I know, <laughs> uh, and uh, and find out for sure. But I think it's open to the public. I believe. Okay, so people are saying Paula called the court, and it is open to the public. Okay, so yeah, I think she was one of the ones that was going to try to go. I told her if she goes, I want a full report of everything, <laughs> um, of what happened. I'm going to do my best and see, um see if I can get down there too. I just, I, it's just not working out. I, I just don't know that I can make that one. Unfortunately, I would love to be there, but, um, let's see, let me go back. My cat's name is Karen. Tell me, uh, let me know if you're going to end up going. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have to be there. So my cat's name is Karen. That was originally what I heard, but then I've heard since that the judge made it mandatory. Um, allegedly, I'm going to use a big blanket. Allegedly, she had maybe tried to do that, but then the judge was like, nah, you got to be here. So the last I heard, she is required to be there. Let me see if I can, you guys talk amongst yourself. I'm going to see if I can Google. I can't see your chat when I Google stuff. Let me just see what my Google machine says. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm sorry. I'm looking on Google. It is convoluted, but last I heard and from my understanding from other like well, other YouTubers like Paula and people have said is she has to be there. So I'm working under the assumption that she will be there. Um yeah, that's what uh Deborah's saying the same thing. That's what I heard is uh she tried to zoom in and the judge says, No, you have to be here. So um <laughs> Yeah, Glynis. Yeah, I know. I thought about that too. Okay, sorry. I'm being quiet and weird here because I keep Googling to try to find out. But the, the way I'm understanding it is that it will be um it will be the two of them in court and that, that Megan is required to be there. So that's what made me think, oh, I really want to be down there. I really want to I know I can't film in court, but I'll stand outside the damn thing and film it if I could, you know. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying to figure it out. Okay. Um, Erica, thank you so much for the super. Erica says, what will we learn if it goes to discovery? That's exactly what I'm dying to know. So that's how she got in trouble before, if I'm recalling correctly, in my opinion. I think that's what she got in trouble for. Or that's how she got caught before um, with the Finding Freedom was during discovery. It came out that she had, in fact, helped... I don't even want to say his name, that guy that she works with, the lap dog, uh, with the book. And then she ended up having to apologize to court. I'm sorry. My throat is so dry. I got to take some drinks. So here. Me, 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 yeah. me. Testing my voice. Go down there and tell me. <laughs> yeah. I can't even get through the freaking airport. Yeah. Like they're going to let me in a court. <laughs> no, definitely for uh, I don't want to go to super jail. Um, yeah, I am curious how that court thing is going to play out. I'm sure they'll probably be flooding the news with everything possible to kind of push her down the Google rankings or, you know, she, it's, it's probably going to be like she, she courted, <laughs> courted a goose or something. Oh, yeah. So when you search, uh, Megan goose or court, I mean, Megan, <laughs> you, you can search Megan goose if you want. I don't know. They'll bring up. But yeah. yeah, Megan Court, that will probably come up instead. That's, I'm sure something silly like that. But I mean, it could be a big deal if this uh, this goes forward. That's uh, that's going to be a, a a very big problem. <clears throat> okay, I'm here. Um, a lot of people saying they really want the discovery. Me too. I'm here for that. But yes, I'm definitely. Pulling for Samantha, it goes without saying. And Lynn, I see your comment. I love it that we'll make Samantha an honorary member of the Drunk Goose Club. You better believe it. We got Thomas to Hong Kong, right? Thomas Jr. So we'll get Samantha to Hong Kong too. But um, yes, I would love to make her an honorary member. That's great. Right? Um, so yeah, people are bringing up the pregnancy thing. I'm hearing the rumblings too. I'm calling BS. There's no way. I mean, I'm a person of a certain age. I, we don't have to go over biology. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. Um, but I'm hearing the same rumblings too. I just, it wouldn't shock me if the news came out or something like that, but it's bullshit, right? I mean, allegedly it's bullshit. Uh, but it wouldn't shock me if that's what, the, is that what you mean? Like that that'll be the excuse? Um, not trying to go too dark i don't know how to say it like that either a pregnancy is happening or a pregnancy will have ended get what i'm saying so we'll see hi daughter of darkness thanks for being here i appreciate it do you think they'll allow court tv inside no i believe that the judge so paula m has been such a sweetheart and and she did tell me um she thinks that the judge put a won't allow streaming. So no, I don't think, oh, I would freak out though if Court TV was inside. I would love it because that's how I was able to stream the uh, Amber Heard Johnny Depp of it all and, and discuss. So I would love that. That would be great. All right. Um, KT says Thomas Jr. and I have so much to talk about. That's great. Oh, that's too funny. Will we get to know what goes on in there? So, Candace, here's my plan. One, my my 
my option one would be, I would love to get there. So if I can get there, I will. I don't think I can. If I can't, I already talked to Paula M about coming on and just talking to me afterwards and giving us, giving our group all the deets. So she's very kind and she said she would. So she'll, if she, she's planning on being there. So if, assuming she can get in and all the things, then we'll talk to her and see if we can find out all the details. Believe me, if I can't be there, I'm, I'm trying to find somebody who can, who can fill us in. Cause I want to know too. I want to know all the details. Is it weird that I really want to know what she's wearing too? Cause I'm sure it'll be totally inappropriate. South Florida, it'll be like, I don't know, 80, 90 degrees and she'll be in a parka or something. Um, yeah, princess, exactly that. I'm not going to read what you're saying, but that's exactly what I was implying too. It'll be some sort of, um, hypothetical medical situation that will try to keep her out of court. Um, so, oh, more kids like Catherine. Yeah, I wondered the same thing. All right. Uh, why wouldn't court TV have cameras in there? So I, I'm not even going to pretend like I know the rules or the laws or how that works. Hey, Christine, thanks for joining. I really appreciate that. I'm not going to pretend like I know all the rules or the laws. I live in Florida. It's a weird state here. Uh, we do have the sunshine laws, but I know the judge can overrule. Yeah, there's so many factors. You know, I mean, different states, different, I mean, different counties, different judges, different levels of court. Uh, yeah, it, circumstances involved. And, you know, all that being said, I still don't understand anything. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. So uh, don't, don't, uh, don't go off of that. But yeah. um, it's hard. To, and sometimes they'll allow live tweeting in courts. Mm -hmm. It's really all over the place. Yeah, I mean, really I mean, that's why everybody's still drawing pictures while they're in court. Like somehow, yeah. somehow that's okay, but a, a camera isn't. But it does, I, I do like some of the hilarious drawings that we get. Sometimes. I do too. Well, it, the, the hair, drawings, those hairy yes. ones were good. Yeah, the hairy ones were good. That's a funny sentence. Um, people are saying if I get to see Samantha, will I ask her how her dad is? I would love to. Yes, I definitely will. Definitely will do that. Yes. But um, but we'll see. I'll definitely keep you posted. Like I say, it's unfortunately not looking great for me. But um, but if I can't be there, I'll do my best to get us the details. How about that? All right. Let's see, other talking points I had here. Um, oh, David Beckham. Can we talk about the Beckhams? Uh, the Beckhams are doing great. Uh, their documentary did great. People are seeming to really love it. Uh, their popularity has shot way, I mean, they're already huge, but it sounds like their popularity has shot way up. Um, and now we get news that the king has invited them to dinner. I love that. I love it for so many reasons, but I love it for the petty reason that you know that the wife is freaking out and so mad about it, right? It's, it's got to be bug bugging the crap out of her, and I kind of love that. Um, Glenn is saying, I love the Beckhams. I do, too. I do, too. I really don't know a ton about them, but what I've seen, I really enjoy. There's something, I don't know, there's something charming about them plus he's fun to look at so there's that <laughs> anybody else surprised when he talks his voice just doesn't match what I thought I'm sure that's true of anybody but I just I was surprised when I heard him speak his voice sounds different than I would have guessed but uh I'm I'm working my way through the documentary I keep saying that I've been so slow to keep going with I got other stuff going on but I do want to keep going I'm enjoying the heck out of it um, people, okay, so Lynn saying David will get a knighthood. I'm hearing the same thing. So let me ask this because I really don't know. My UK people help me out. I heard that he got an OBE. Is that is that different? I don't know what that means. What that means? Oh, oh, okay. You cough like you did. Never mind. Uh hold on. I'm gonna jump on Google real quick. What is an OBE? All right, here we go. OBE is awarded to individuals who have made major contributions at a local level or whose work has gained national profile. Order of the British Empire. Okay, so that is different. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so there's different 
okay, I see it now. So there's different um, grades of this. So if you're knight or dame, it's GBE. Knight or dame commander is um, KBE, DBE. Commander is CBE. Officer is OBE and member is MBE. Wow, that's a lot of interesting stuff. I had no idea. The most excellent order of the British Empire. It's a British order of chivalry. Okay, I want to be one. How do I get this? <laughs> uh, I want to be. I want to be knighted or OBE'd. I want to. I want to be these things. Down with OBE. Yeah, you know me. Nice. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, Ali's saying David Beckham is yum. Yes, he is. He's fun to look at for sure. OBE. Oh, here we go. Look at this. KT says OBE Wan Kenobi. I like it very much. Um, but yeah, Martha is pointing out KC, King Charles wants him for Royal Foundation. I heard the same thing. So it, I, you know, I did all the research for yesterday's video. Now all that information's flying out of my head, but or today's video, it's flying out of my head. Um, it had to do with what achievement in sport and helping, what was it? People, maybe underprivileged people get into sport. I forget what it is. It was a good cause. I forget, <laughs> but I think it's great. Um, oh, I love this. Oh, oh, says, keep slagging off Megan and you'll get a CBE in the mail. Yes, please. Does that come with some sort of visa situation? Because I really want to live in England. <laughs> How do I get that in the mail? <laughs> unfortunately, no, I'm totally kidding. I, I was going to say something so horrible. I was about to say, unfortunately, I'm already married, so I can't just marry an English man. <laughs> Do your English impression. I, I can pretend. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, G, not related to Tom, says when people talk in advance about knighthoods, they tend not to get them. Oh, could be Harry and Megan are talking about it to try and block. Oh, that, that is an interesting theory. I didn't know that. But um, I love this whole storyline. Story listen to me. I sound like I'm writing for a reality show. But I do. I love this whole plot line, if you will, that uh, the Beckhams are doing wonderfully. The Harkles continue to mess up. And it's, again, I, that's the whole thesis of my video today is all they had to do was be nice and they can't do it. They can't do it. So they ruin everything because they're such a-holes all the time. So <laughs> I find that so delicious and so fun. So again, I, I got to cover my A here and say allegedly, according to the rumor mill, whatever you choose to believe, that's up to you. But allegedly the wife was not nice to the Beckhams and encouraged Harry to not be nice to the Beckhams. And it led to a whole falling out. I've heard several accounts. One was that one had to do with, how do I put this? Uh, allegedly borrowing some things from Victoria and maybe not returning said things. I don't know. All alleged. I, I You hear rumblings, right? You've probably heard the rumblings too. All right. Oh, good idea. She bends, not breaks. Google, can foreigners win an OBE? Let me find that out. And can we vote on it? Can I bribe you all to vote me in? Can foreigners win OBE? <clears throat> oh my gosh, I can do it. They said that, uh, do you have to be a British national to win? No, the foreign office can recommend an award to go to a foreigner who has made a significant impact. You guys, this is my mission. How do I get an OBE? What can I do to make a significant impact? Um, how do I do this? <laughs> oh my gosh, she bends not breaks. You're my hero. Now you guys help me. How do I get an OBE? <laughs> What's an actual thing I could do that's nice to get nominated? I love this idea so much. This is my new mission in life. This is my new goal. How do I do this? In fact, I'm stalling because I'm writing down on my notepad how to get OBE. I'm open for suggestions. Somebody with some pull, tell me how I do this because I would, I, I would think of a not horrible way to say this. I would pee in my pants with excitement. <laughs> that's what I was trying not to say, but that's truly how I'd feel. Um, and I just saw David Alp saying, hi, hi. How are you? 
How long do we have left on this live chat? I don't know. It's going so well. We'll hang out for a while. We've been at it for an hour. We're having the best time. Thanks for being here. And please pet Flossie for me, will ya? How are ya? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. All right. Let me read some of these comments. Sir Jen. <laughs> you know what? I don't care what you call me. If I have that nice OBE, do I get the like fancy little award thing? I love it. That's all you girly. I love it. Work for charity. I would love to. I want to do something. I've thought about this. I want to figure out a charity that uh, Catherine's involved in, like a children's charity or something. And if I could, I don't know, stream and raise some money toward that and make a big fat donation, I would love to. I've, I actually have thought about that. And hell, if that gets me an OBE, then bring it on. And if not, it's just a nice thing to do. So let's do that. Um, Let's see. <laughs> What is it? Jen speaking me. Oh, I love it because <laughs> I said I'd pee my pants. Yeah, I would. Um, let's see here. Glennis says, oh, my God, look at the hats. Oh, what are the? Oh, the hats on the screen. I know. <laughs> I was like, what? Do you get a hat if you get OBE? Because that's even more reason for me to do this thing. Work for a British charity. I would love to. Uh, Mark says adopt Harry and Megan. I think I'm good on that. I don't think, I think that would get me sainthood and I don't think I'm that. So <laughs> Duke and Duchess, Duke J and Duchess Jen. I love it. That's too funny. Oh my God. I would be so obnoxious with my title. I'd go to, I don't know, like we have Publix here in Florida and it'd be like, I'd go to Publix to have a sandwich made and they'd be like, Duchess, your sandwich is ready. <laughs> like, cool. I got the chicken finger sub. Give me myself. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh my goodness. Would you become a dame with an OBE? Well, let me Google that because I don't know anything. <laughs> Let's see. What? I don't even know what to look up. What title do you get with OBE? All right. Only the top two ranks of knighthood, GBE, KBE, are eligible to use the title sir or dame. However, individuals who are awarded CBE, OBE, or MBE may be awarded an additional higher rank at a later, later date, which enables them to use the title sir. Shit. <laughs> I can be Sir Goose. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> What's the lady equivalent? <laughs> the lady goose? I'm here for that. Oh, it's too funny. Uh, gee, that is a brilliant idea. I love it. I'm actually recording with Beebs, hopefully, I don't know, next week, the week after, something like that. Um, and and G, not related, Tom says, get Beebs involved to sell jewelry for charity. I love it. That's a great idea. Take over the Sussex title. I would love to. I, I unlike those two, I actually love England. I love all the UK, but I love England. Um, and I don't think we, and we, did we go to Sussex? I don't know where Sussex is. I'm sorry to say, I don't think we went to Sussex. Yeah, but I would love to, and I will visit and I will not be an a-hole and ruin that title. How about that? Um, oh, Dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I didn't even think about that. People are pointing out Jame, uh, Jame, Dame Judy Dench. That's very true. You just get the letters. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'll take the letters. Can I get that cool, fancy, like, what, jewelry thing that, they, I don't know what it's called, the the pendant thing. I don't know, that cross thing. <laughs> um, Is it DMNMT? Thank you so much for the super. It says, my theory that Beg and Megan needed to blow up EO's friendship. Oh, you're talking about Harry's friendship with David Beckham because David Beckham could have talked since. Oh, you are brilliant. So let me read this again because I didn't do a good job reading it and it's kind of written in code. But um, is it DMN MT? I'll just call you MT. MT's theory, thank you for the super, by the way, is um that Megan blew up the friendship between Harry and David Beckham because David Beckham could have talked some sense into Harry. She couldn't risk that. That is an excellent theory. Here's my theory. My theory is she threw up, the, she threw up, blew up the friendship. I can't even talk. Blew up the friendship because she couldn't stand that Victoria Beckham was uh, more known, more loved, more liked, whatever the word is, than herself. And she couldn't stand that because people might actually want pictures of Victoria and not her. That's my theory. But again, these are my opinions, right? You got to say that a lot when you're dealing with these two. These are my opinions, my opinions. 
Uh, Aideen says, Jen, use Princess Catherine's affordable jewelry, jewelry items to raise money. I love that idea, Aideen. That is brilliant. That's a great idea. So I'd like to find a cause. I know, so I just got, I don't know, when my channel passed 100,000, I got into the YouTube club, whatever that is, where I, I can do um, fundraisers now. I haven't done one, and I love I love the idea of raising money for a good cause anyway. So I don't know how this works. I want to investigate. I want to see if it's a specific chair. Like, if I can pick the charity, and if so, I'd like to pick a charity related to Catherine Princess of Wales or Princess Anne or both of them or whatever and try to raise some money. Or one of, I just think that'd be cool, you know, to give to something that means they would, you know, align with their charities, if that makes any sense. Um, Sherry, thank you. I, is it Sherry or Cherie? I think Cherie, thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you for that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Elaine, thank you for the super. That's very nice. Thank you. And Elaine writes, Megan didn't want to be upstaged by Victoria Beckham. I think so too, Elaine. That's exactly what I think. That's kind of the rumor that I'd heard, or maybe my head came up with, I don't know at this point, but yeah, I kind of think the same thing. Um, let's see. Okay, so Lynn is pointing out the Lord and Lady title can be bought by anyone for anyone. So a funny side note, we did do that a lot before we even had the channel, Jay and I. We are Lord and Lady on paper. I just thought it was a funny, what, Father's Day present? It was like when our kid was little, we bought uh, we bought the the little piece of land in Scotland or whatever to, we have Lord and Lady, like we have the paperwork somewhere. I just, I know it's silly, but we have that. So technically we are Lord and Lady. Look at us being all humble. We don't even use our titles. <laughs> oh my goodness. But um, I'm going to take one second break and get a drink and I'm going to let Jay talk. But Jay is, I'm not ending the live stream. Believe me, I got lots more to talk about. But um, I'm going to take a quick break. Jay's going to talk and Jay, tell everybody what you're going to do later. So that way, if they want to follow you over there, they can. There you go. Hi. Oh yeah, Civil Defense UK. Thank you. Show some, show some love, folks. Mash the thumbs up. Yeah, we appreciate that. If you do the thumbs up, it uh, it pleases the algorithm, <laughs> and the Google, the Google angels smile upon us. Um, but yeah, so Jim will keep this live stream going for a while. When it's done, um, if you if you haven't seen it before, as per usual, I will be streaming a little while afterwards. And uh, something new has uh, changed uh, lately. Generally, I've been streaming on Twitch. Uh, that's just my, you know, live service of choice. But they did a 180 recently, and they are allowing multi-streaming. So uh, I will go live on Twitch. And if you're not, you know, if you don't want to mess with Twitch, I mean, Twitch is still the primary source. But uh, I'm going to simul stream it to YouTube on. Um, my uh, regular the video game channel dr bad vibes and uh same video on both and, I, and you can see the chat uh from both people so yeah probably i'm estimating i don't know we'll see how long we go I'm, I'm, i've got a placeholder for 8 30 p.m eastern time and uh if you don't want to watch the live stream sometimes i do cut up the non-video game stuff and i put that on a new channel called dr bad vibes speaks and uh, I do a, a video just went up uh, for Halloween. I have a new video up. It's kind of long. It's my favorite stupid uh, horror movies and you know ones that I recommend watching. And I guess you don't want to. Wa it's like forty five minutes long. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, I do recommend at least watching the last part if you're a Matthew McConaughey fan because he has an amazing movie that's kind of been buried over time. Uh, his I think his first movie role actually. Let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the chat now. Hey, Tanya. I went in your live chat on Twitch, but I couldn't comment. Huh, that's strange. Uh, you do have to have an account. Uh, that is a barrier of entry. So uh, it will be up on YouTube. So uh, if, you, if YouTube's easier for you, that, that should show up. Let's see. David Alp. Jay, can you please do your Elvis bit again? Just say, thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. 
I've left the building. <laughs> the Tanya J, your horror movie video was great. Well, thank you. Uh, it was recorded live, so it's the stuff on my new channel is all from live stuff. Um, as I gain more subscribers and it, you know becomes a little more worthwhile, I will start making some original videos. I would like to do something about uh, you know uh, Will Smith because that whole thing that, that's definitely caught my attention. It's just so strange. Hi from Australia. Hey. David David had me do an Elvis impersonation again. I'm back and I had to get a drink real quick. Thank you guys for talking to Jay. <laughs> that sounds weird, but you know what I mean. And uh, Jay, thank you for talking to everybody. But there's somebody else they would like to say hello. Hi. Our little gosling. She just came to say hello to uh, Lord and Lady Goose and Gander's friends. Uh, can you tell everybody to get an OBE for mommy? I know you don't know what what the heck is that? <laughs> it's something cool in in the UK. Okay, whatever that is, get it for my mom <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> She's telling you all to get mommy and dad a uh, OBE. So <laughs> I love it. Honk honk. Uh, would you like to honk at everybody, little Gosling? Okay. Say honk honk. honk. Like oh, Gamma. Fish and chips, mate. <laughs> um, we have some Australia. Good day, mate. <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you, Gosling. Oh, everybody's saying hello, little Gosling. Hello, tiny human. That's cute. Thank you guys for being so sweet to her. I appreciate it. Hi, little Gosling. I love it. That's so cute. Um here uh oh everybody's saying how precious hi <laughs> thank you guys so much uh kt that's not don't don't overthink that i deleted your message only because i like saying her name on stream so she's gosling so thank you <laughs> i just don't trust all the sugars everywhere that's why so thank you Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Dawn. Oh, you have the flu. I'm so sorry. Please get better, feel better, speedy recovery. Oh, everybody's saying, hey, everybody's saying you are adorable. Oh, <laughs> Jay says thanks. Thanks. Oh, uh, somebody said hi, wee lady. I love that. So cute. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm back. Let's see here. We were talking about David Beckham. I'm so excited for him. And I think that's wonderful. And um, so here's my question, because again, bear with my ignorance here. I really, truly don't know. If David Beckham was knighted, would he outrank Harry? Please say yes. Say yes. Because that would be so funny. Oh, no, KT, don't. No, 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 no. Don't be sorry. No, no. No, that wasn't anything. I just, I'm trying to, yeah. I, no, that's just something I'm, I'm working on not saying. I messed up and said it last time, but no, it's no big deal. Thank you. Um, but would he, so if he got knighthood, would he outrank Harry? Because that would be so freaking funny. Uh, you know what I mean? Like with the titles or whatever. Um, oh, civil defense UK. Oh my gosh. I will work on it. Getting mom and dad an OBE. I love that. That's so sweet. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Can you say cheers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. All right. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Sir only. Okay. No, I just wondered because that would be so freaking funny, right? In my head, he would outrank Harry and that would be so funny. Oh my God. Let's take it a step further. How about if, <laughs> if Harry and Megan had to bow to them? Oh, that would make my heart so happy. I'm petty like that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, let's see here. Duke is still higher. Okay, no, I figured. I just, I had to throw that out there because uh, that would be really funny. 
really funny. Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah, true. If they lose their titles, then... Well, we may already outrank them. We already outrank them. <laughs> yeah. Well, if they lose their titles, then do you and I outrank them as Lord and Lady? <laughs> With our plot of land? Yeah. yeah. Our, our square foot of uh, swamp. swamp land uh, outranks that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, thank you, Glennis. You are touching on the next topic I was going to talk about. Let's talk about this. All right. Let's talk about Catherine, Princess of Wales. Her uncle is Gary Goldsmith, and he has a book coming out. Uh, we don't have a date on this yet. Now, from what I could tell in my research, originally he was going to write a book about his journey to becoming a millionaire. Sounds like he's done that many times over. I think it was through an IT company, if I remember correctly. I may have that wrong. Um, but now he says it will be a quote, set the record straight. Maybe that's not a quote from him, but that's the allegations going around, right? That he's going to set the record straight to give the Middleton family a voice. And um, <clears throat> from what I, I found a comment that said this, and I thought this was so well said, it said, Basically, Harry banked on William not being able to comment on Spare, so he would not be expecting this. So if this is true, if this is actually happening, I would say, yes, bring it on. I can't wait. <laughs> I hope that's true. I hope Uncle Gary writes a book. I hope, you know, at first I was like, ooh, I don't know. I'm a family member of Catherine's writing a book. I hope they don't try to sponge off Catherine. But from what I could tell, this guy is, is good with Catherine and Carol, of course, Catherine's mom, Catherine, Princess of Wales. Um, and uh, he would basically give them final whatever they, they'd be able to look over the book, make sure that they were fine in the book. But oh, I hope this is true. I hear that he hates Harry. I'm seeing in the comments that people are saying he hates Harry. So if so, that should be an interesting book. Hey, thank you so much, Kay. Oh, sorry. I read the wrong name. Sorry. Let me try it again. Thank you so much, Jill, for your super. I really appreciate that. Your third super on a live stream. They just gave you a word for that. That's so cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, no, I missed it. What did Elaine say? Elaine, sorry, I missed yours. Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Elaine, thank you for the super. Elaine says, Lady C said, thank you for telling me. Uh, Lady C said the truth will be out in spring. I heard the same thing and I'm here for it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jay's asking, is she writing a book? No, I heard the same thing and I believe, and again, I can't, you know, they are coming after people talking about the kids. So you're going to hear me say allegedly, allegedly a lot. But allegedly it has to do with the kids. Whatever that means, I don't know, but whatever it means, I'm here for it. And stuff's supposed to be coming out in the spring, whatever that means. I'm here for it. <laughs> I have to get weird and dance around it and make that allegedly sandwich. It annoys me too, and I apologize, but it's just what you have to do, you know? Uh, oh, I love it. Christine says Lady J. That's great. Uh, Lynn Kilpatrick says, wonder what Lady C says about the book. Yeah, I wondered the same thing. What are your, what are your thoughts on this? Um... I want to know everything. What are our thoughts on uh, Catherine's uncle, Gary Goldsmith, writing this book? Apparently, he really hates Harry and Meghan, from what I hear. So if that's the case and he has some tea to spill, I say spill it. <coughs> I really don't think it's right. And I think that the commenter who said Harry Banks on the royal family, I'm, I'm going to cover not just William, but I'm going to say the king as well and Camilla as well. Not being able to speak up or not being able to speak out or refute any of this stuff, he banks on that stuff. So the idea that somebody with an actual knowledge of his nonsense could speak up, oh, I'm here for it. Bring it on. All right. Uh, a lot of people ask him about Lady C. I, if I had more information there, I would give it. I would encourage you to go watch her videos because I saw the same thing in one of her videos and it was a few weeks back that I saw that. She had alluded to something happening in the spring and more information coming out. Now, people are um, saying in the comment that there are super injunctions, like Lynn Kilpatrick here saying super injunctions are, they end in the spring, and that's why people will be allowed to talk. Hope that is the case. 
All right. David Alp says, oh my gosh, I listened to Lady C's Saturday chat and was so confused about the Pansy Gardens. So I didn't actually watch. I I love Lady C and I do like to watch her. I, I This is so weird. I've said it before. I never want to accidentally borrow from somebody, not even on purpose, but like in my mind. So I'm usually behind on other YouTubers because I wait till the story, till I've talked about the story before I watch somebody else so I don't accidentally borrow from them. You know what I mean? Even subconsciously. So I, I'm behind, but I will catch up on her. So I don't actually know what you're talking about, but I want to know. Um, Aideen says, Gary... Okay, so I didn't know that. A Aideen is pointing out that Gary Goldsmith, criminal convictions. Okay. Ooh, okay. Didn't know that. Interesting. So uh, I'd like to know more about that. I don't really know about that. Elaine says, I don't blame Uncle Gary as Megan and Harry lied and trashed Catherine. I'm kind of on the same page. Um, oh, okay. Glennis is saying Gary is annoyed about Princess Charlotte as we all are. Yeah. And oh yeah. Daughter of Darkness absolutely pointing out that she'd love to see Oprah and Gail taken down too. Unfortunately, I don't think that will happen, but I'm with you. I think it's crazy. Crap. Uh, and Gail continues to stick up for them. We saw it. Oh, God, what was it? It was something pretty recently. Oh, it was the near catastrophic car chase. She said, like, basically, how dare everybody question them? It's like, how dare you not question them? Aren't you a journalist? Quote unquote. Uh, are in your job to question them? In our job to question them? If you say something, if I said, I don't know, I have a a gold statue in my front yard or something and i never showed you pictures why would you believe me like i don't that's a bad example you know what i'm saying like if i if i talked about a near catastrophic car chase you'd want to know details and then you'd be like wow that's weird they're not giving any details these two went on and on about it and then gave no details with no evidence to back it up of course people are going to call them out on it i have a strong opinion about that um let's see here Wildcat says, if it has to do with William, would be interested in more than just doing window shopping, which is not true. Lady C was basically saying, despite whatever they try, they won't ruin William and Catherine. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, there's no chance. I think they know that, or maybe, I don't think Megan has awareness like that, but I think maybe Harry realizes that, and um, I think that's the root of his fixation, if you will. He must know that he will never have an impact on them. All right. Oh, now that's interesting. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to read that comment, but I think that's an interesting comment. Um, I'll make a general one. What uh, Kat's name is Karen is saying is that it has to do with allegations of... Uh, preferences on the on the part of Harry. How about that? We'll just leave that there. Um G not related Tom says, let's hope that the staff at Buckingham Palace NDAs expire in the spring. Oh, mere mouth to God's ears. I hope so too. Oh, I wish they would speak up. I always I get weird comments when I say the same thing. I always say, oh, I wish they would speak up. I wish they would be let out of their NDAs and stuff. And then people get almost not you guys, but some people in my comments get really defensive and say, oh, you know, the, the, it's done to protect them. It's so the sugars don't come after them. But I'm just like, you know, they should be allowed to speak their truth. If Harry and Meghan can speak whatever they want, I'm not going to dare say truth, but whatever, they're, whatever they feel like talking about, then I think other people should be allowed the same freedom. And I think we should be allowed to judge for ourselves. So I wish they could speak up. I wish they would speak up. All right, I'm looking back at my notes to see if there's any other talking points I have. Let's see. Uh -huh. I think so. I think that was the brunt of it. Like I say, next week is Earthshot and then also the court case. So it'll be an interesting week next week. But okay, so going back to the fake Halloween of it all. <laughs> Um, the allegedly fake Halloween photo, whatever's going on there. I, I don't even care at this point, but I'm just saying, I don't believe it's really them. So if it's not really them, or even if it was taken at a different time, that would mean they haven't done anything in a while. They haven't 
done their parking lot nonsense in a while. And funny enough, Jay pointed out that Halloween photo was taken in a parking lot. So maybe it was them. Um, but they haven't done anything them-like in a little while, right, uh, Harold and Fraud? So I feel like something's on the horizon, don't you? Like, I feel like the, she's not going to want all the attention on this court case, so she's going to do something. Uh, and I like Jay's <laughs> comment earlier that she'll do something, I don't know, like put out a story about courting or something. So that way if you search Megan in court, that'll come up, not the actual story. But um. Uh, sorry, I was reading the comments. And I lost my train of thought. But um, oh, the court case is coming up, uh, and Earthshot's coming up. So they're gonna do something to try to distract. And stickers in a parking lot won't do. It's gonna be bigger. I just don't know what it'll be. Anybody else feel like that? Um, let's see. Megan and Harry could be, oh, sorry, it says Megan could be busy giving depositions. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, oh, Starbelly's laughing about all the hats on the screen. Yeah, it's AI. I like that. So, my, oh, this is funny too. It should change for you here in a second. So these spray bottles, I was asking Jay, I was like, Jay, tell me some prompts to type into AI to get some funny pictures. And for some reason, Jay thought it'd be funny to have them spraying bottles of Mountain Dew on each other. So that's what that is. So if you see them spraying bottles, that's what that is. There's also some, he also had the idea to have them eating turkey legs. So there's some turkey leg photos in there. And juggalos. Yeah. So you'll see some clown photos coming up too. Lots of silly stuff. Um, okay. So Katie, um, so here's, how I'm understanding it, because there is confusion around it. Katie's pointing out a court case will be next year. Okay, so this will kind of decide that. If I'm understanding it correctly, if this goes well, then yes, there will be a court case next year with Samantha and Megan. And this will kind of lead into that or not, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? So... It could lead to that, yes, but there is an actual, it's not the case, I'm using the wrong terminology, it's not a case, it's a hearing next week. And allegedly, um, she will have to be there. <clears throat> what? Let's see, Starbelly says, Megan will pursue tennis, so when you search Megan Court, that'll be taken care of. Oh. That's what it'll be. She's gonna go play tennis, she's gonna have dinner at medieval times and yeah. go on about being part of King Arthur's court. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are brilliant. That's it. She'll take up tennis. So it's court. Because also Catherine, Princess of Wales, is a is an excellent tennis player from what I hear. There's pictures of her with who was it? Was it Roger Federer? I can't even remember. Yeah, I think so. And um uh she's well known to be uh, associated with tennis. So of course Megan will probably have pictures and I don't know, a tennis outfit or something. So yeah, oh that's brilliant. So smart. With, uh, she can play with John McEnroe and lose her mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, somebody just asked a question that I would like to know the answer yeah. to. Because I don't, I may have asked this and forgotten the answer. Rachel Linton says, dumb question, but why are the, why are the fans called sugars? So, yeah, I wish I knew. <laughs> One of you guys can fill us in the exact reason. I've heard different reasons. Um, it had to do with, uh, I don't even want to guess. I was thinking it had to do with the sugar daddy situation is originally why they did it, but then I don't think that's it. Somebody tell me exactly why they're called sugars. In fact, talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to Google really quick and see if I can get Google to answer it for me. Why are Megan fans called sugar? Oh, here we go. So according to Cora, if you choose to believe them, it says... Oh, somebody said, because they sugarcoat everything to having to do with uh, Megan. That's pretty funny. Let's see. Okay, somebody else says they use it to describe themselves or people that support or are, quote, sweet on Megan. That's a very Southern sweet on. I mean, I already assumed that they were all paid actors, but that, I mean, that sounds even more manufactured. That sounds like something your PR team came up with. So dumb. Here's what's funny, though. 
in even in the answers to this, people are saying, don't let the name fool you. They are, quote, what does it say? Sweet name for extremely aggressive, threatening <laughs> group. Yeah, I'd say that's true. All right. I am coming back into the chat, so I'll be able to see your comments again. All right. Oh, my God. Somebody called. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you for this laugh. Oh, oh, says Catherine's really sporty. I'm like Duchess Jockstrap. That's a great name. Thank you for that. I, I'm a very visual person, so it's, as soon as you called her Duchess Jockstrap, I got a very weird picture in my head. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, Kay Coffey's saying the same thing I was saying, which is, this is emotion hearing. The emotions will determine if there is to be a trial. Thank you for clearing that up. Yes, that's how I understand it, too. All right. Oh, Alice says, because they will rot your, your teeth. That's why they're called. Um, sugar, that's really funny. You can roll shit in sugar. It's still shit. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, I've had other people call them saccharin, which I think is really funny. Why not? Splenda or yeah. sucralose. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know. I'm busy working on my OBE paperwork over here. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm talking to Jay, not you guys. That's funny. Um, all right. I'm checking my notes to see if there's anything else. Oh, uh, we have another part coming out. We recorded another half an hour of talking about Jada, Amber and Megan. So tell me your thoughts on all of that, because I'm kind of obsessed. I really enjoyed going a little different in that video and not just talking about Megan. Um, and, and, and I find it interesting to compare similarities in the three. So I wondered what your thoughts were on that. I'm excited to show you another, um, we call it part two, just further discussion of that probably coming up, I don't know, this weekend or something. We'll see. So uh, look for that. But I'm enjoying that conversation and I'm wondering what your thoughts are. Do you want to go deeper into the Jada of it all? The trio of doom, yes. Um, what did I, oh, in the next video, you'll see I call them the toxic trio. I think that's pretty good but jay and i kind of sat down and compared some of the nonsense between the three and it's weird how much of it they have in common how much overlaps i find jay saying just the funniest things about jada and her takedown of will and weird <laughs> but yeah yeah that was on the it was some of the videos we watched it was charlie penguin zero that Will Smith uh, literally married uh, his worst Twitter troll. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Well, in both cases, it's like, why do they think they're so famous? Like, the, literally, the only thing I know Jada from is uh, the second Matrix movie, which came out over 20 years ago. <laughs> and I guess she's done <coughs> stuff since then, but nothing gone anywhere. You know, while well, he's been Big Willie style since, uh, you know, the early 90s, I guess. You know, I watched all of Fresh Prince. <laughs> In West Philadelphia, oh. born. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So I think that comes up in the next video. I say the same thing. Is your name, is it Junie? Oh, I don't know how to say your name, Jeannie Miko. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, talking about how at least Amber and Jada wear clothes that fit them. I said the same thing. I was like, you know, can't stand any of the three of them, but I think at least Jada seems to be a nice dresser. Amber's hit or miss. I thought she was okay, and then court was a whole different thing, but then she was cosplaying somebody else. But um, but yeah, and then you have Megan just completely getting it wrong every time. I can't stand Jada, but I think, at least some of the clothes she wears are pretty, you know? <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> David asks, why was it called the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I believe his minty smell. Nah, it was like his style. Like, yeah. you know, he. 90s. Yeah. That, yeah, that was a 90s term. It may have been US specific, but it's like, yeah, it's like, yo, you looking fresh. Like, you know, cool, basically. But it, it was, you know, like, he was. Out of his element in stuffy Bel Air, while he, you know they were all suits and ties, he was all like neon and 
you know, loud and blah, blah, blah. Uh, she seriously looks like a Cenobite from the Hellraiser movies. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I mean, she seems terrible. I don't know why he's with, like, yeah, it's like she's, like, trying to, it's like she wants him to divorce her, and he won't do it. <laughs> she's trying so hard. Like, what, what she did he? She entangled her son's friend. Yeah, yeah, she banged her son's friend. <laughs> like, yeah, for years. I don't know how that timeline learns out, or lines up, but. The news we saw mentioned she was 42 and he was 22. So, uh, yeah. If it was, a, if it was her son's friend, he's Ew. probably been coming over to the house for a while. So, like, wouldn't nor a normal parent's reaction or perception be that he's a child? Yeah. <laughs> or something, or at least, you know, super young and not, yeah. not that. You know, that's such a weird, good point. I didn't even think about that ick factor. That, yeah, they hooked up when he was 22. So, yes, he was of age, but I'm sure he didn't meet the son when he was 22. I'm sure he didn't start coming around the family when he was 22. He's, I would, again, alleging, assuming, I don't know, guessing my opinion, that he would have been much younger, to which, ew. Ew, ew, ew. Um... Let's see here. Uh oh, and then people are talking about her book. Yeah, it's not doing well. It, it didn't even break. Don't believe it broke the top ten to about Jada's book. And then I keep hearing that's why I keep I think that's honestly what kicked off my thinking about her versus Megan, because I keep hearing rumblings and Tom Bowers basically said, um Tom Bauer, the author of Revenge, you know, I love to say that, uh, basically said that allegedly Megan is working on her book as well. And I think, ooh, his book didn't do well. So I'm curious. Although I do feel like it'd be like the Netflix Harry and Megan, where it blows and it's awful and horrible to watch, but it would still sell a shitload because everybody would be interested in what the hell she's going to make up next, right? All right, Chrissy is talking to Jay. Read Chrissy's comment. He's going to read it and write you back. Uh, let's see. Callie, or sorry, Calla Lizzie says, I like your name very much, says, I also heard that Jada swam in the lady pond. I don't know what's up with the male friend of her son's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. Bless you. Hi, Ian. I meant to say hi to you earlier. I saw when you jumped in. I meant to say hi, and I got distracted. Thank you for being here. Uh, Ian is saying Jaden and Willow are are well weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about them. Yeah, Jaden had a whole. Uh, yeah, he had like a whole internet meme uh, arc <laughs> for like a year where he was just posting the dumbest shit <laughs> and crazy stuff. Um, uh, Shell says, we'll just make Jen read it. You better believe it. I have been working with a very nice lady at my library so that I don't have to buy, uh, Scabies book. I will, um, I will have my copy from the library when it is available to me. And, uh, the money I would have spent on the book, I will be getting the library lady a gift card. So shout out to the library ladies everywhere. Thank you for that. I'd never done that before at the library, so I wasn't sure what I was doing. This very nice lady has been helping me. Um, let's see. I think she thinks I'm crazy because I'm like, no, you don't understand. I need this book, even though, yeah, book sucks, but I need the book. <laughs> She's like, okay. So anyway, I will be giving her a gift card to somewhere, I don't know, Starbucks or something, uh, instead of spending money on that book. Uh, CFSK, thanks for being here, saying, oh, answering David Alp. All right, Cal Lizzie says, I watched videos reviewing everything. That was more than enough. Piper says, fresh equals cool in the 90s. Yes, we are, I would say we're 90s kids, but we're kids. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know, we were teens in the 90s, so there's that. Um, Let's see. No Flake says Netflix doc was worse. I want those whatever it was, six hours of my life back. I just remember working on that and Jay would like come downstairs and like, I don't know, grab coffee or whatever. And 
every time he saw me, I'd just lay my head on my desk and say, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> it was so bad. It wasn't even like fun bad, you know? It was just bad, bad. That's how Bear was. At least Bear had some inappropriate comments about his mom's face cream to keep me entertained. That Netflix documentary had nothing. Uh, Ian's laughing about the pictures. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. Let's see here. What else is going on with you guys? I've been at it for almost two hours. Tell me what's going on with you. Do you guys have any questions? Um, any topics you want to see covered? I'm trying to think. I have a couple videos that I've already recorded that'll be coming out in the next few days. Another part of the Jada Amber, uh, Megan of it all. Definitely check that out. Uh, I got some funny memes from Twitter coming Got out. I always love doing those. Just the silly quick bites where I can talk about news and laugh at, um, I don't know, memes making fun of the dastardly duo. Here for that. Uh, let's see. Jen, that's now, uh, I'm listening to this one's book. Wah. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that's funny. Uh, he's insufferable. Yes. Yes, he is. Didn't watch... Let's see, I didn't read Spare Me. I didn't watch a Netflix series. I heard all the reviews. It was unbearable. It was. It was awful. Hard to watch for sure. Um, let's see, what else? I've covered all the news. I I just keep going back. I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record, but I'm telling you, I know these two. I've well, I've like studied them now for a little while, and I, I just know they're gonna, I just feel it in my gut. They're gonna release photos again soon. They think these Halloween photos are it, but I think enough people are calling BS and seeing through them. It's not big enough for them. So I feel like maybe more photos are coming before this uh, court thing next week. So, oh, that's funny. David Alf. Yeah, he stepped on a bee and then flings head. Yeah, we, we go into that and it may be in part two coming out where I talk about the stepped on a bee thing. Yeah. Funny. Um, oh, Yeah. Aideen saying the crown, a uh, Korean state visit. More on our beloved Princess Anne, please. I would love to. I love Princess Anne so much. Uh, Spirit, uh, Spirit Matter says, are you on locals, Jen? I don't know what that means. Local anesthesia? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I talk like it sometimes. I don't mean to. I don't know what that means, though. What are locals? And how do I get on it? That's right. Is it something I'm allowed to talk about in front of Jay? He's right here next to me. <laughs> he frowns upon me dating. Is it a dating website? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, let's see. All right. Jackie says, I watched the Netflix doc as I didn't think it could be as bad as everyone was saying. Boy, was I wrong. It really was so bad. I wish we could have all sat together and watched it and like thrown things at the TV because that would have made it way more fun. CFSK says, Jen, I saw something interesting regarding Meg stealing stories from others, like the story with Queen in the Blanket. I have just seen a documentary about, um, oh, okay, so she's writing more. CFSK, I want to know. Either message me here or I can give you my email address if you want to message me about it because I'm... Love working on videos like that. I do. I find that so fascinating. The more I learn about stories like that, where allegedly the wife takes stories, especially it seems to be from Catherine, uh, Catherine's stories from the past, and then like we'll recycle them, change one detail, and make it her own story, <laughs> like the blanket from the Queen and um, the Is He Kind? Allegedly, that actually came from. Something that Catherine had asked about William back in the day. And uh, allegedly the wife stole it, changed it a little bit, and made her own story. Nice, huh? Instead of having an actual personality of her own, she has to borrow from other people. And I find that so weird and honestly one of the reasons why I'm riveted. Because I've just never seen anything like it before. <coughs> about coughing? Okay. Sixon Girl says, wondering if Harry would be doing any correcting with Netflix on his teen years on The Crown. Yeah, so that's my question, too. If he's working alongside Netflix and then they're, I, I, I don't watch The Crown, so forgive me. I, I don't, don't really 
talking about, but I hear that they're doing some not nice things to Diana right now. Somebody was telling me that they're watching or they had been watching and they quit because they hated the treatment that Diana's getting. So I just don't understand how you can work for the same company that I don't know if they're bashing her or what they're doing. I think they made her into a ghost. They won't just let it go. So you'd think that <laughs> if he's really sensitive to that stuff, it would bother him. But no, not a care in the world. Ready to work with Netflix, right? Weird. Uh, let's see. Daughter Darkness says, how many here think... Harry actually believes the stuff that Megan says. I have a theory on that. I wondered the same. I do think he mostly believes her. But I do wonder at what point, like, do you think, I don't know how that works. Do you think he'll wake up one day and be like, oh, shit, she's not telling me the truth. Like, like, I'm hearing the same rumblings you guys are. It came up earlier in this live stream, actually. People are saying there's rumors that she's pregnant again. I'm hearing the same rumors. Do you think he actually believes that? Do you think he actually believes? Sorry, I'm just laughing at it. I mean, it's all alleged, but do you think he actually believes it? Or do you think, I mean, I don't know. I think we, we are, the group of us here, the collective of us are thinking like normal people. So it's hard to think like Harry because I don't think he thinks like a normal person. So perhaps it was immaculate conception. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe that dude doesn't know how babies are made. So she's like, yeah. Remember when we held hands? Baby, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but that's a good question. I wonder that too, though. Does he still believe everything? I tend to think he does. All right. Uh, let's see here. Janice says, I'm glad Catherine will be with George during his exams. Me too. It's their first kid with exams. So glad they prioritize school events and make things as normal as possible for the kids. Jana. I couldn't agree with you more. I think that's an excellent point and an excellent comment. Um, RT66 Vintage says, I have no friends or family who are interested in the Harkles. It's a lonely hobby. RT, I'm almost in the same boat. But when I tell Jay, that's the crazy thing. If you just start, like, pick somebody that you're close to, start telling them details. Like, some of the things out of the book or from the Netflix or, like, some of the lies from Oprah. I promise you'll hook them in because they're like, no way. No way did they say their their kids wouldn't have titles because of their color. And then uh and then now the kids have titles and then these two won't answer for why they lied in front of to everyone in front of everyone. You know what I mean? Like things like that. When you tell people details like that and it makes them go, What? They they said what? You know? <laughs> then I think it it does it hooks people in. It hooked me in and it worked for Jay too. So, yeah, it doesn't, uh, yeah, it, I think it's just so wild. Honestly, that's what hooked me on the Amber Heard stuff, too. It's so wild to listen to and to watch. All right. Um, so, yeah, we've been going for two hours. Uh, I'm, I mean, there's still 700 people on, so I'm down to keep going a little longer. Think of your questions, and we'll go for a little longer, and then we'll probably wrap this up and have some dinner, and then Jay will jump on here. Across stream. Ha, 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 ha. That's a wiener joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, Craft Trox. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate it. Uh, apparently, Audible has come out and said they're not signing up. Megan, ding, ding, ding. Heard the same thing. Love it. So to me, in case you guys are like, what are you talking about? Uh, to me, I think the Audible thing was the same as the Dior thing. Think back a couple months ago. We had the wife walking around a parking lot. Trying to act like she was going to be the next whatever for Dior spokesperson. Is that still a word? Uh, uh, face of Dior, whatever it is. And then Dior was like, no, I don't think so. And then they, in my opinion, they're trying to spread this rumor about Audible wants to do a huge deal with them. Harry and Megan, specifically Megan. And um, Audible came out and said, no, no, that's not happening. So... <laughs> Yeah, I find that very funny. It, it, how awful do you have to be if a company, like I said the same thing about Dior, how awful do you have to be if a company has to come out and say, nope, not true, not working with those people, uh-uh, don't put our names with us. <laughs> you know? I think that's pretty funny, and that says a lot about Harold and Fraud. And can skank, if you will. I like to brush those names off sometimes because those are fun. Ooh, I like your name, Maleficent, not, was it, not Medic Goddess. That's a great name. 
I think he believed her the first time she did it, hence why Her Majesty the Queen allowed them to get married in the first place. Then she feigned uh, a loss. Harold is dumber than a sack of hammers. Well, I think you're brilliant, and I think that's a great way to explain Harold, and I think you're right. I've heard similar tales such as that. Uh, sweet baby Ray Bands, thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate that. Jay's laughing. We love your name. That's great. It says, just popped in. Have you heard Princess Catherine's uncle has a book? Yes, we've been, we did talk about that earlier in the stream. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes, um, yeah, his name again. Hold on, I have it in my notes. It is Gary Goldsmith allegedly has a book. Originally, it was going to be about journey to becoming a millionaire, but now it sounds like it's going to sling some mud at Harry and Meghan. Well deserved, and I'm here for it. And if he does it, I'll read it. <laughs> here for it. Um, let's see here. Chrissy Hunsaker again. Thank you so much. You're very generous, very kind and writes gifted five real housewives, uh, recaps membership. Thank you so much for doing that. That is very nice of you. Very kind, very generous. I really appreciate it. Let's get some more membership badges up in here. Thank you, Chrissy. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you to everybody who's jumped on the memberships. Thank you to everybody who's gifted memberships. So Jay, as people have gifted memberships, more slots should be open for more uh, super stickers. So we got to do some stuff. Yeah, it sounds, sounds like I need to make more emojis. Yes. Uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, Judge Goose. <laughs> oh, yes, a Judge Goose to wish Samantha good luck next week. Yes, I think that's good. I'm actually going to put that in my phone. I need to... Yes, a Judge Goose, something like that. And that'll be in support of Samantha. I love it. That's a great idea. Um, let's see. Oh, Cal Lizzie says, hey, that's an insult to hammers. At least hammers are useful. That's a good point. Jada is the original. Oh, oh, sorry. Hi, Cajun. Jada is the original narcissist. Nobody knew who she was. I kind of feel the same way. I find it very funny. I just can't believe I really hadn't. Ca I don't know much about Jada. I'm learning more and I find it completely interesting how <laughs> to sell books. She's basically bashing her husband. So, Jay, I'm going to go write a book. I'm going to bash you <laughs> the entire time uh, while I do it. That should be lots of fun. That sounds like a bad time. <laughs> yeah, but Will's out there like promoting the book too, so he just seems to be fine with it, so whatever. Oh. Uh, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> if you don't know what Jay's talking about, Will Smith did this very cringe, I guess, ad for YouTube uh, a couple years ago, and it, that's basically all he said was, that's hot. Ah, oh, so silly. David, you're so sweet. Thank you for that. It says, um, are you better from your allergies? I am. Thank you for asking. You still can hear my voice a little bit. We're, of course, in Florida. Anytime it is spring or fall for like a week or two, my voice goes a little crazy. So I'm coming out of it. I'm still coughing a little bit, but I'm much better. Thank you for asking. Oh, somebody did a coffee. I got to click off chat for one second. I won't be able to see what you're saying, but I will check on coffee and see who I need to thank. The coffee is that K-O-F-I thing that you see up on your screen there. When you tip there, they don't take uh, anything out of it. So, hey. one second, I'm so sorry. This thing is slow to load, so I'm trying to see what popped up. Marley, thank you so much, Marley. I really appreciate that. Marley, um, tipped on coffee. So Marley, if you're here, thank you. I really appreciate that. And she wrote, keep juicing. I love it. That's so cute. Thank you, Marley. I really appreciate that. You are one of my Patreon members. So thank you. All right. Um, yeah, let's see. I guess we'll, I mean, probably wrap this up soon. What else do you guys have? Any questions for us? Hi, Hollis. Thanks for being here. Another of my Patreon members. Thank you for being here. Uh, any other questions? Any other things you want to talk about? Any other things on your mind? Tanya's asking if we have a red table. You know what's funny? So I am very much a holiday person. I decorate for Christmas ridiculously early. So I decorated my house for Christmas. And I changed out my tablecloth where I record like I'm sitting at right now. Guess what color my tablecloth is? It's red. So I technically do have a red table. Oh, in fact, you guys, this is so silly. But one of my things I like to do, I did it last year. I got like no views on it, but I might do it again this year. 
I think tomorrow the new Starbucks flavors come out for the, I don't know, Christmas season. I like to like, I record I don't show myself drinking them, but like I'll film the cups and talk about the flavors and stuff. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I'll do it again. I did it last year. I just filmed the cups next to my Christmas tree and I've got my Christmas tree up again. So I'll uh, film the cups next to the tree and talk about the flavors maybe this weekend if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. If you want to know what new Starbucks flavors there are, I, I get really into holidays. So any chance, any chance to drink coffee and talk about Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, then I'll talk about it. So let me know if that's something that you would like to watch. Um, let's see here. Bumble Cooper says, I'm going to have nightmares after looking at all the pics. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Athena says, love reds and burgundy. Yeah, me too. Especially this time of year. Uh, David Alp says, red. Yeah, me too. Uh, especially around Christmas. Uh, David asks, what's my dinner tonight for you and Jay? Okay, so we are in Florida where it's hot year round, but for some weird reason, we're a little bit, I'm not even going to use the word cold. We're a little bit cool for us right now. It is 58 outside right now. And so I made a big pot of chili. So we will be having chili for dinner. Yum, yum. So everybody come to our house for chili. Just kidding. <laughs> so um let's see here oh what's jackie says good grief jen it's november what that i decorated for christmas oh you yeah oh uh, if i told you the truth you'd probably judge me and cry but um some of it i've had up even earlier but yeah <laughs> i start decorating around october i just love christmas uh oh thank you jana please do film the flavors you know what i think i will i had fun with the last one i just Basically, I'd show what the drinks look like, the treats look like. I'd take a sip. I'd talk about it. And and uh, I can get Jay in on this one because Jay's a bigger coffee drinker than me. But I can have a couple sips and tell you. Uh-oh. I have not heard that, Athena. I will look into that and think about it. Thank you. Did not know that. We'll We'll give it some thought. Thank you. Um, sweet baby Ray-Ban says any trips across the pond? Oh, sweet baby Ray-Bans. I wish that is my dream. In fact, I, I was talking earlier and then I got sidetracked and never came back to it. Somebody brought up, um, that it is Catherine Princess of Wales holiday it called that where she does the carols and stuff. And I started thinking, oh, I want to go to that so bad. I want to go back across the pond. No trips planned to answer your question, but dying to go. Would love to go. Uh, first chance we get. Hoping 2024. Just got to save up for a little bit for that. But thank you for asking. Um, I believe me, my mind wanders. And sometimes I look at, could I just go? Could I just go for like three days? Film myself walking around there and then come back home? I don't know. I'd have to save up for it. but. I think it'd be cool. I just love that place so much. All of it, all of the UK. All right. Uh, Kelly says, I'm dying to cross stitch this. Oh, the, <laughs> the orange goose with honk honk as a cushion. If I can work out the pattern. Oh, of course. She's asking, do I have permission to stitch? Please, with my blessing. How about this? I'll, I'll do you one better, Kelly. If you stitch it, I'll give you my blessing on the condition that you will send me pictures of this so I can share it with the group because I love this idea so much. That would make my heart so happy. Thank you, Kelly. I think that's so cute. Such a cute idea. Erica Adams, thank you so much for the super. Wrote, Sherry Denise has a great deep dive on Worthy. Check her out. She also did Revenge and Spare. Okay, I will. Thank you. I also did Revenge and Spare as well. So check out my deep dives if you haven't. Um, McMeow says it's 70 out still. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's 58 here, so we're cold. <laughs> um, oh, somebody else asking, what are we having for supper? I made a big pot of chili, so we'll be having chili. Uh, oh, thank you so much, RT66 Vintage. You always write the nicest thing saying, appreciate your work, Jen and Jay. Uh, wow. Bumble Cooper says started, de my sister started decorating today. Eight Christmas trees going up. Whoa. I don't have that many. I have one Christmas tree and a whole bunch of Christmas lights around. 
I'm very excited about that. Okay, I'm scrolling down to catch up with the comments. Let us know if the snowman cookies are back. Shannon, I Googled it and it, if the internet is to be believed, they are back. Oh, and I heard that they brought back, um, 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 um what's that called? I loved it last year. What was that treat called? What was the treat that I loved last year? The, oh, sugar plum cheese Danish. Oh my gosh. Those were so good. It's like a cheese Danish with some uh, strawberry or raspberry preserve on it. It was really good. Um, okay. Eliza's asking if we have some ideas for future videos or info, where can you send it? You can send it to RHR comments at gmail.com. You can write me there. I welcome it. Thank you. Mm. Uh, sometimes that email gets backed up. So if I don't respond or if I don't see it, or if I don't see it right away, that's, that's the only reason I'm not ignoring you. It's just, I kind of make, I mean, obviously I make that one public and it does it get a lot of messages there. So, but you're welcome to message me there. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, Ian says 58. That's a heat wave in the UK. I know I'm in Florida. It's hot year round. This is cool for us. It got cool. Finally. I'm excited. <laughs> I know. Uh, D Campbell says it's 88 here in California. I know. Uh, McMeow says, if I can think of a way to do it creatively and not just a fondant goose. Oh, what did I miss? Do you bake? Oh, I, I see it now. I'm a baker and decorator. I think I want to try a Hong Kong goose cake. McMeow, can I just tell you, I already liked you, but I like you even better now. So that's kind of my, I just love to bake. I do. I, I haven't done it in a long time, but, um, I have a history with decorating cakes and stuff and it's kind of, I actually thought I would get into it, but then I got sidetracked with all this stuff, but I always thought it'd be so fun to have a bakery. I just have it in my head, this vision for a bakery. And so I always thought I'd love to do that. So I think it's so cool that you do that. Yeah, I want to know everything. I want to see your pictures if you bake a cake. All right. Um, I just saw, oh yeah. So the normal gal just said the same thing I did. Yes. Their sugar plum cheese Danish rolls are delicious. They really are. They're so good. Uh, K coffee says 58 is cold in Florida. It is right. Oh, sorry. CFSK email. R H R comments here. How about I type it in the chat too? R comments at mail.com. Okay. So there it is. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> Excuse me. CFSK, it's in the comments now, so you should see it. Oh, Janet, it's going to Scotland for Christmas. I'm so jealous. That is so cool i love scotland so much is it your first trip have you been before that's amazing i'm so jealous um let's see oh jana says i can't wait i guess so oh, that's amazing Stef sorry stefoski says hi i'm a little late but ready hi hong kong friend i'm actually just wrapping up we've been going for over two hours so I'm probably going to wrap this up, but I know there's still 527 of you guys on. I can't even believe it. You guys are amazing. Thank you for sticking with us. Um, so, but I probably will wrap this up in a minute because I got to feed my kid. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, Jana says it will be my first trip. My cousin is at university there. So I'm visiting her. Oh my gosh, Jana. I spent like two weeks traveling around there. I love Scotland so much. I'm dying to go back. Jay's never been. I'm dying to take him. I'm hoping to get him there in 2024. You will have the best time. Some of the most lovely people there. Love it. Uh, so many, be I'm just, I can't explain to you how beautiful the Highlands are. You can look at pictures online, but until you're there and you look up in those mountains, oh my, I've just never seen anything like it. It gives me chills. Um, oh yeah, Stefoski's asking what the gosling was for Halloween. Yeah, can you tell everybody what you went as for Halloween? A Barbie doll. Yeah. She decided she wanted to be a Barbie for Halloween. So she was Barbie. Very cute. Very cute. So Jay was Ken. 
Couldn't find a fabulous fur coat, but yeah. I've tried. <laughs> he wanted a, a pink Corvette or something like Barbie, right? Yeah. That's cute. But yeah, she was a uh, Barbie for Halloween. Right? But guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for talking to me. Oh my gosh, KT, I love that idea. Could we have a Great Goose Bake Off, you guys? I love the Great British Bake Off. I would love to make goose cakes and send pictures. KT, you're brilliant. I'm writing this down. Maybe we could do that as like a holiday thing. I love this idea. I'm writing this down. Jay, you talk. I'm writing this idea down because it's brilliant. Thank you, KT. Hey, guys. How's it going? Have a drunk goose bakery. I like baked goods. Yeah. <laughs> Love the barbie cost. Tell mom and dad to buy you a pink Corvette. Oh. How about, yeah, that's a good idea. We need a Corvette. Yeah. I'll, it doesn't have to be pink. It just needs to be a Corvette, you know, yeah. for Lexi, you know, sure. no other reason. Yeah. I like it. Nice try. Uh, KT, that's a brilliant idea. I love it. I'll spitball it and try to work out the details. That's great. Thank you. Drunk Goose Bakery is also a great idea. I love snocker doodles. That's fun. Snicker doodles. That's fun. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Did you see Maleficent's comment? Yeah, you better feed that little sweetheart. Real kids are funny like that. I know. They need food and Attention and hugs. Ah, oh, so annoying. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Play with me. Spend time with me. <laughs> just kidding. She's lovely. The best little Barbie. Barbie Ferrari. That's right. Why would we get a Corvette when we get a Ferrari? There you go. What are we thinking? Locker doodles. That's so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Great. Locker doodles. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to end it here. I thank you all so much for spending your evening with us. Jay, tell oh, everybody's making fun of your Jen impression. Do your impression of me and tell everybody what's going to happen after we wrap up. Hi, guys. This is Jen. Uh, I have honkers, honk, honk. I can't, I, I can't make my voice high enough, uh, but... Uh... If you want to see more comedy gold worthy of a Netflix special, uh, I'll be live streaming in a little while. Uh, I'll say like 8 or 8.30ish. Uh, but uh, I will simul stream on Twitch and YouTube. Twitch is the primary, but uh, you can also see it on YouTube on my video game channel, Dr. Bad Vibes. And Jen will leave her stream up. I may try to... Uh, May try something new to see if I can direct uh, the viewers there, but uh, that'll be on the on the background. So, uh, but if you want to find it, the channel's Doctor Bad Vibes and Twitch.tv slash Doctor Bad Vibes. Pin it in the comments. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll uh, pin links in the comments. There's somebody else that wants to say hello. Hi, I'm June. <laughs> hello, goose, <laughs> gooses. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel and my husband's channel, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Did everybody get fooled and think that that was me talking? That may have been me. <laughs> thank you, little Gosling. Oh, you guys are great. Uh, thank you guys for spending your day, evening, whatever time it is for you with me. Thank you for being here and being so sweet and supportive. We appreciate you all so much. Every one of your thoughtful comments, everything means, it just means so much to me. I'm going to pin Jay's comment to the top here. So if you want to join or see his channel, you can click that link. Um, I'm going to leave as per usual. I like to leave the chat up for a few extra minutes because there's 500 of you on. So you can keep chatting to each other if you want. It all helps me out. It really does. It helps the channel. It's uh, part of the, it keeps, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? algorithm engagement all that so 
go for it. Talk to each other. But I appreciate you all so much. I really do. Thank you for all the supers, all the stickers, all the people that joined, all the people that gifted, all the people that chatted, all the people that watch. And if you're watching after the fact, hey, that it really helps. And I really appreciate that. Even if you just leave it on while you're cleaning your house, I want you to know that watch time really helps. It really does. So thank you. Um, so it's no secret if you don't know in November and December, that's when YouTube advertising is at its peak. So I will be, well, I like to talk to you guys anyway, so I'll be streaming more, but I'll, I'll be streaming more in November, December as I can. November is weird because, um, we have some Thanksgiving, we might be going out of town for Thanksgiving, so we'll figure it out. I may have to pre-record some of those videos, but otherwise I'll be around. I'll be streaming more. Anytime I can pre-plan it, I will. I know I'm bad at pre-planning these, but I'll post it, of course, in the community tab. So make sure you're subscribed there. And uh, if you're on Patreon, I always try to post it there too. So you guys know. You guys are the best bunch of flockers. If I could give each and every one of you a hug, I would. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for being here. Hong Kong, everybody. Thank you for spending your evening with us. Again, I do say if you if you have time and you feel like it, follow Jay. He'll be streaming later. I'm sure he'll say weird stuff, do weird stuff. And if you want to see what he looks like, he gets on camera. Hong Kong. Jay. Hint, he's very handsome. So there's that. <laughs> I might be biased. <laughs> Actually, his mom always thinks that we look alike. So if you see Jay, you might say, hey, that's what Jen looks like. I'm just not quite as manly as he is. <laughs> He's got a few more muscles. Do you want to say honk honk, everybody? Honk honk. Honk the honk. Thank you for chatting. Bye bye. All right, so chat will stay up. Keep talking to each other, and Jay will be on soon. Anything else you want to say? Honk honk. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Take care.